Hello everyone. Welcome on in. <clears throat> um got our quality settings, options, transcoding, whatever you want to call them. So we'll be able to get right into it as soon as I take care of the usual business, which includes uh Discord and Twitter notifications and closed captions. Okay. So um pretty tired but other than that I don't feel too bad I, it's kind of hard to actually tell um, if I'm tired because I'm sleeping like crap or if I'm tired from the second dose hey amethyst uh, but I did gosh hands are not super steady today um, I lost a peely last night so I popped the rest of them off because I actually like lost it lost it enjoy your lurk purple I need to go through and just do all the Nightbot commands. I hate that Twitch is not, like, literally on their tweet, like, so, so many mad people. I thought maybe they would roll back and give us back our pretty colored text, but it doesn't seem to be happening, so I need to go through and get rid of that uh, italics everywhere. Hey, son. Yeah, it probably is both Amethyst. Like, I feel a deeper, like, physical sort of exhaustion than usually. Like, more it's mental um, when it's just from from not sleeping very well. Hey, little sweetheart, welcome. So anyway, yeah, I was mostly laying low yesterday, but I was doing a little cleaning. And I think one of my peelies may have ended up actually, like, in the garbage. And not just, like, in the garbage bag, but, like, possibly in the garbage bag that's already, like, out in the garbage can and I'm like like I'm not that desperate to keep all my peelies right <laughs> like yeah I looked around a little bit but I'm not like pulling a trash bag out of the trash can to dig through for my peely it's not even for these lovely peelies it's not worth it <laughs> um I'm not 100% what I'm gonna be putting on I think I want to take off some length do some cuticle stuff of course hey spacey and uh like i'm thinking maybe one of the pastel hollows with one of the the new unicorn skins but like i'm not quite sure like sparkling water with the blue would probably be sick M mint money with the green would probably be sick lavender syrup with the blue would probably be good or like mint money with the gold like i don't know what the combination is that I'm gonna settle on. Hello, sleepy. Welcome. Um, but yeah, gonna gonna get something nice on the nails. Hopefully, feeling even better tomorrow. Like most people that have had reactions, seems like, uh, you know, it's within like the first twelve to thirty-six hours, and I'm already like more than twenty-four hours. I'm like. I guess I'm about like 30 hours past, so I don't think I'm gonna start feeling super poorly. Although I wouldn't be surprised if I was still pretty tired tomorrow. Uh, hey Lizzie. But tomorrow, as as many of you know, is a very special, well, it's a, a very special day. No, it's a, it's a slightly special day. Tis my stream anniversary, And uh, I do definitely, I, I st I'm going to wait and see how I'm feeling tomorrow before I fully determine what is going to be going on. But I, I do definitely think I'll be able to stream at least a little bit. Maybe a lot of it. Because streaming gives me life. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so cheesy sometimes. I don't know how you guys put up with me. <laughs> it's hard to believe that like... I still feel like such a noob, you guys. Like, how is it fucking three years already? That's crazy. That's crazy, crazy. 
but anyway yeah like this is such a lovely length but it's also a dangerous length especially considering we still have the two breaks that we're dealing with this one actually honestly it's hard to tell exactly where the break is but maybe we'll maybe we'll go down that low I think the break on this finger which also like has some peeling going on at the tip is like right well, it's also hard to point with like my other nails but I think it's like right there which would be pretty short yeah it's hard to tell on the underside if that right right like there is the edge of the gel or if that's the break I kind of think that's the break and if so that's pretty short but also at the same time um like it's okay it's still past my fingertips <clears throat> windows vista tiger mama i remember vista i mean that was that was i mean the older windows are always like the ones people are like oh i remember that one fondly right like the, every newer windows people hate a little bit more <laughs> but uh also relatable tiger mama but like i said i'm not feeling poorly i'm pretty sure i don't have a fever or anything although i'm feeling a bit warm right now but i could just take off my sweater it'll be fine i don't have headache or aches or anything i drank a lot a lot of water yesterday nice tiger mama i'm so mad well so mad that like Amazon doesn't have one other than like the tiny tiny bottle I think right now that has free shipping so I'm like well maybe I'll put a Sally's order together but I'm like well what else do I need from Sally's other than cuticle oil like I'm not trying to pay for shipping as y'all know paying for shipping is feels bad man um but I, I hope you like it that's my that's my favorite cuticle oil but I hope you guys are all doing well um, you know, I, I originally wasn't sure if I would be streaming today and I'm going to try to not like a lot of times if I do a short nail stream, I'm like, maybe we'll stick some games at the end. Like probably not going to try and just do this and then continue resting up to, for, uh, for tomorrow. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> also, I also haven't eaten today, but. I don't think I'm hungry yet. Probably by the end of stream, I'll be starting to get hungry. Hmm. Put a pang nail there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like a... I feel like maybe it's because it's not like an artificial smell, Tiger Mama. Like, it actually is like a mango smell. Yeah, I get my thinner from Sally's too. I... It, I go through it so slowly though is it here it is I was gonna say I thought it was up there I mean I'm less than half a bottle but at the same time like that amount of thinner will probably last me for like a couple more years I don't know maybe I can get like a shower cap or something or multiple things of cuticle oil but <laughs> that seems excessive I like I'm trying to just wait and hope that Amazon's whoever the seller is that had it with the free shipping because I'm fairly sure although I suppose I could check my order history I'm fairly sure I got it from Amazon last time Dino probably I haven't fully decided hey Fashionic yeah the main thing is just like don't like a lot of times the damage that people associate with with uh like nail stuff like like overlays and stuff are not actually due to the overlays but due to how salons remove them improperly gel polish even too um like using a uh, an electronic file to file it off and actually going like into the nail bed um 
Oh, the mic is right there. Benny. Can I adjust the mic a little bit? Benny, your head is cut off, friend. There, nope, there's the mic. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, as long as you're careful with removal, like every, I don't use a lot of gel polish, but every now and then I do. And I've never had any damage to my nails from it because I'm very patient when I'm removing it and soaking it off. Oh. But yeah, I think, like, I want to do, <laughs> I feel like it's been like the past, like, four or five nail streams I've talked about wanting to do that color club nail art that's, like, in my head. And I thought about doing that today, and then I was just like, yeah, no. <laughs> not quite, not quite up for it today. Little Sweetheart. I mean, it sounds almost like a joke, but it's not like the last time I bought a car and actually I kind of am in the market for a car again. Like, I didn't really need one during the whole lockdown, but now that I'm vaccinated and I may start to get out a little bit more, it's like, I probably should get a new one. Like, I didn't want the kind of car door where you have to, like, go under the handle and, like, this part is all... Like, if you lose your grip on the car handle and then you get the... Like, I definitely broke nails like that. Like, I like the car handle where you grip it with your whole, with your whole fingers. Hey, some beanie pets. Also, hello, Izzy. How you doing today, Mr. Grey Lump? I'm just chilling. He's very cozy. Nice, cozy boy. <coughs> Yeah, short nails can be cute too, Dino. Excuse me. A Kia Soul. I kind of, I would really like to get another 300, but I don't know. They're, they're hard to find with like not a shit ton of mileage on them. And even the older ones are kind of a little bit more expensive than I would like to, to spend. Yeah, manufacturing. Even, yeah, the used market is even, like, yeah. So, I don't know. I, I would really like to have a car, but on the other hand, I don't know. Like, I feel like I got a fairly... Thank you, Cakes, for the beanie treat, by the way. Did you, did you hear that bag, sir? You said, that's that treat for me? It is for you. You know, I don't feel like the the insurance company was unfair to me or anything with my settlement but the fact is that there is not a car you know there there is not a 2010 Chrysler 300 with only 50,000 miles on it out there for me to buy um wasn't at the time still isn't and if you go you know even just a couple years newer they're still not that low of mileage and they're more expensive and I'm just I don't know I love that car so much um, but I'm not, I don't know, no, no firm decisions on that. I kind of, it started looking again, but there's just not a lot of good stuff out there. Hello, Ho Jose and Titus eating sushi. What kind of sushi? I'm not a huge sushi fan, but like there, there are okay sushis out there. A lot of sushi has like stuff that I don't like though, like avocado seems like. <clears throat> I saw an article on that dino. <clears throat> you give her cheese. Dude, he's on the right track. Absolutely. And if she doesn't want cheese, you probably know I'm just kidding. It's fine not to like cheese, everyone, but like for real. I think that would be a wonderful. Flowers, nah. Can't eat flowers. Dude, maybe like carve some cheese into some flowers. Hey. Wisp, hello. Yeah, cheat like that. Like, seriously, speaking of, like, going out into the world again, that's what I want to go do. I want to go browse some fucking 
expensive cheese islands and and pick some new cheese I've never had before to try. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> no, it's not okay. No, it's okay. Everybody has different taste buds and also some people have allergies or some people are, you know, plant-based. Although, like, there's some decent plant-based cheeses out there, to be honest. I remember one time my parents' church had, like, this food giveaway thing. And I got this uh, cashew, spreadable cashew cheese. Oh, my God, it was so good. But, like, I I can't find it anywhere. They, like, I don't know. It's kind of sketchy. It's like, I don't know where this place got this food they were giving away. But nowhere around here sells this this uh nut cheese spread that they had and i was kind of sad it was like well fuck never gonna have that again apparently the more cheese the better yeah exactly lactose intolerance although like there's lactose free milk so there must be like lactose free cheese right i mean that has to be a thing but yeah also allergies also just like some people don't like cheese question mark can't like i literally can't relate the only cheese i don't like is swiss cheese well that's not true there are some cheeses that have swissy properties that i'm also not a fan of also because you know i'm not a fan of peppers or heat stuff like you know jalapeno jack or something like that is not gonna be on my list (laughs) dino No, that's like, if you, if you have an intolerance or especially an allergy to something, please don't just go ahead and eat it. I remember I worked for a short time with a lady who was allergic to shellfish and she said like every now and then she just like went and ate a whole bunch of shrimp and then went like to the emergency room and I cannot relate. (laughs) Or maybe it wasn't the emergency room, you know, maybe it was not that severe, but then like, you know, just ate a bunch of Benadryl or whatever. But it's like, dude, don't, don't aggravate your allergies. For one thing, every time you have an allergic reaction, the subsequent allergic reaction can be worse. So you're making yourself more allergic to something by exposing yourself to it on a regular basis. Blue cheese? Hell yeah, Bond Splicer. Yum. Yum. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, women do like men who feed them. But Tagdra, I took it out of the shell, therefore. <laughs> mm. Yeah, did you ever narrow it down, Dino? I remember when you had that kind of spooky incident. I'm glad I'm not, like, I mean. I don't know. I've learned pretty well to avoid tree nuts since a young age. I can't really recall the last time I accidentally uh, had a reaction to those. And that's one of the things that thankfully is pretty well labeled on most uh, on most foods if it has nuts in it or even if it's produced in in like a facility that processes nuts which thankfully I'm not that sensitive but I mean a lot of people are and that has to be kind of spooky (laughs) take it out and then slowly reintroduce it yeah and I mean I guess it depends too on the type of allergies like a lot of people uh you know have very severe peanut allergies and I've seen you know that kind of uh what do I want to call it? I don't I don't know if exposure therapy is like the right word, but like eating one peanut M&M per day and then like upping it to like two peanut M&Ms per day or something until they were like until their body was able to get used to it. That would just seem super kind of spooky to me though. I mean, I don't I don't have a taste for nuts, right? Like it's not like, "Oh man, I wish I could have some pecans or walnuts." Like even in the occasions when I've accidentally eaten them, it's not like, oh man, I'm so sad. 
I can't have these more often. The nuts that I like, that I actually prefer, are the ones that I can have that aren't actually real nuts. Like cashew, ca- cashews, cashews, and uh, pistachios. Wait, like, are you are you currently wearing this hoodie, Amethyst? Is he is he trying to get into it with you, or you mean just like to, to he stole it from you and now he's trying to get it on? <laughs> yeah. Wait, are they? Oh. <laughs> okay okay i'm like okay i was like wait a minute are we changing the subject are we talking about holograms now because it seems like that's a move that keeps happening and being weird like oh we'll just make a hologram of this dead person don't worry about it (laughs) eggs and tree nuts were the last to go yeah i know that i still have at least some sensitivity to it it really depends like not all i don't know if it's like the the oils that they produce or what not all tree nuts are equally as bad but like if somebody is eating like in shell nuts around me and it gets in the air i get scratchy so i definitely try to steer clear Yeah, walnuts and pecans are very powerful nuts. Um, But thankfully, I don't have any other allergies, at least that I know. Well, food allergies, I should say. I'm allergic to all kind of shit. I remember having one of those... I don't think I did it on I don't think they did it on my back I remember being in my arm the poke tests where you got like 20 or 30 pokes and then they see what has a reaction um you know I'm allergic to trees I'm allergic to dust I'm allergic to cats and dogs which is just unfortunate because I'm gonna have a cat and a dog always as far as I'm concerned <laughs> Um, but I keep it pretty much under control. I'm on some allergy meds year round. Pollen and stuff is starting to come up now that it's springtime and tree stuff, seeds and just, you know, stuff floating through the air. Yeah, I guess that's probably more like a sensitivity, son. I'm kind of surprised. Well, of course, your job doesn't seem to be very sensitive in that. But most places have enough sense to know that there are... I mean, there's a lot of people that are sensitive to a lot of smells. I feel like uh, public places like that shouldn't have so much scented stuff. Like Even like, like soap in a restroom or something. Like, I hate it if I go somewhere... And the soap has a weird smell, even though I'm not drastically sensitive to it. But it's just like, dude, that's so unnecessary. I don't, I don't need this to smell like whatever you think it smells like. It's just soap, dude. (laughs) Mm. Oh, still no smell, Dino. I know sometimes certain scents and flavors can be like stronger or more more quickly to return than others. I want to say like onion and I forget what else. I don't remember. Hey Brooke, welcome. two weeks yeah that would I think that would drive me crazy 
because I mean, I like good smell. I mean, obviously, most people don't like bad smells, although not everybody agrees on what a bad smell is, as we learned in our previous conversation on huffing gasoline fumes. Excuse me. But like, uh, I stopped on my way home yesterday and I picked some crab apple blossoms in the park. And I've got those. It's, it's not a very cute bouquet so that's why it's not like peeking in the corner of beanie's cam but like it's right up there and that's such a lovely scent just smells like spring and soon i'll have lilacs our lilacs are just about ready to pop open lavender lavender is a powerful weird smell i don't hate it but I'm not exactly a fan of it either my mom actually grew lavender a few years ago oh boy Brooke I mean I I love pretty much everything hollow taco so I guess it depends what you're looking for are you looking for like a hollow or a flaky hey flamingo hi all quiz mark (laughs) <laughs> mm. yeah I love lilacs I've seen some around here that are already in bloom ours are like that point where like they're closed but there's like a couple open on each one I think they might be in like full bloom tomorrow which if they are I'm gonna cut a big fat bouquet and they will be right there they'll be like Phew that that's my imitation of a spray of flowers <laughs> hey caters hello yeah, i really so for those of you who weren't here at the very beginning when i was musing i think what i'm doing today is probably um a pastel hollow with a flaky on top Um, let's see here. They're all I mean, I like using a lot of times the whole rainbow together. If I was going to think, or if I was going to pick between the coral, the yellow, and the peach. Oh, I don't know. Because, like, this is not, like, my favorite color range. Right? Like, honestly, like... The yellow is pretty unique, but they're, oh, I don't know. Choices are hard. The Unicorn Dream Collection. We also have those out here because I was thinking about them. Are also really good. I, lo- I love those. And the uh, the pink and the blue from that collection are also really, really good. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, what? The, two of the people who were the problem are gone? I mean, they should give a crap, son. Because, I mean, if you bring a... I don't know if I necessarily want to say a lawsuit, but, like... Uh, what is what is the 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 term? Like if they refuse to make reasonable accommodations, like they can be reported for that. You'd think they would like to avoid that. Yeah, Spacey. Hey, Ember. Welcome. Um, what was I saying? Oh, um. 
Do you have a favorite color? I suppose you, the ones you already got are maybe within your favorite color range. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing... So my thought is... Like maybe one of these with Sonic. I mean like Sonic and Sparkling Water would obviously be subtle and really cute. Um, Sonic and Lavender would be pretty subtle but also still cute uh would pop out a little bit more on the green or a little bit more on like the magenta but then I also thought about like the green galactic with mint uh, mint mojito or the green with the blue or like the gold with the green or the gold with like the uh the magenta would also like okay i don't i don't know what the combination is that we're going to be doing yet <laughs> yeah yeah like all like there there are no bad options here is the problem right i mean what a great problem to have um I'm really torn if I should try to go as low as this break is. Of course, the patch on this is also starting to peel a little bit. So unless I want to redo the patch, maybe I should go that low. The green and the gold. The green flaky on the blue polish, yeah. Purple everything? Well, but... I would have to dig out, well, not like they're far away. The hollow taco drawer is literally like within reach. But no, I want to use one of the new flakies. Dino. <laughs> when in doubt, swatch it out. All right, you guys. We're going short. We're going real short. All right, no going back now. <sighs> Pieces are flying all over my desk. Now, usual disclaimer, a lot of people will only file their nails and not cut them. Because when you trim them, they can tend to break in ways that you don't want them to break but I am impatient and I try to be careful and mindful yeah this will be okay hey Sylvie yeah we are going short it's fine it's fine <clears throat> They'll be long again soon and hopefully without these breaks. I do think I'll still probably be having to deal with uh, the one that's on my index nail. Because I think that's... We, we've still got like some lower... Like we have a series of breaks on this nail. Like it's like here, here, and here. So part of it is grown out past the free edge, but part of it is not. Also, I need to be careful on this one because it's patched, so it's gonna. I don't want to mess up the patch too much, so I'll just trim that roughly, and then get out the uh, the big glass file. Everyone holding their breath. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, and I mean, this is of course you know short in quotes. All right, so what I do is I trim, as you guys saw, even out the length a little bit, or the the uh, edge a little bit with my big one, and then I'll go in and like finish the edges and stuff with my small with my smaller file, and try to put on a little taper. It's hard to do much of a taper when they're this short. 
but uh should be fine see like this one cut pretty crooked like i'm not too worried about it but you want to make sure like when you're when you're snipping and it like you don't want it to go down right so it's all it's all in how you angle the clipper Yeah, I mean we've 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 got plenty of free edge. It's fine. I'll, I'll have myself convinced of it by the end of the stream. <laughs> yeah, the length that I that they were just at. I don't know if that's my dream length, but it's pretty close to it. I mean, I love long nails, but also long nails can get in the way. And also definitely like polo right thumb is going to have to go even shorter than this because I was having trouble casting magic the last time I was playing Hollow Knight and I'm pretty sure it's because I got slightly too much free edge on that right now my left thumb for whatever reason I don't have to keep as short but still pretty short yeah sometimes a lot of times actually same thing happens to me because like you look at where the break is and you're like okay yeah i can go that length but once you're done actually cutting and filing and shaping like you're you're shorter than you thought you were gonna be but just like we always talk about how you know so what if the manicure goes sideways it's nail polish your nails will grow back And we've definitely had to go shorter in the past for various reasons. But yeah, it'll be nice to be done with at least one of the patches. And then hopefully... Hmm, it's kind of hard to tell where the lower breaks are on this index nail but hopefully we won't be having to deal with those patches too much longer either <sighs> um so when we were having that problem like late last summer if I recall and it was because I had missed my biotin in the early summer I'd say it's if it's not all the way grown out it's got to be close to it I think it's got to be close to it and I've definitely tried to be better about number one not running out and number two like remembering to take it because like you're supposed to take it I take all my like vitamin pills like when I eat so not in the morning with the rest of my meds well morning excuse me just switch to keyboard wow even sun yeah the new year's nubs yeah i used to i mean i regularly used to cut everything down for the new year i don't think we needed to this year right after 12 days of christmas or did we no we did we did cut them down this year after 12 days of christmas all right, length is almost even. Got a little bit extra on the here. And basically, like, since your nail beds are different lengths, like, if you want your nails to be the same length, you need to, like, line them up at the cuticle and not only pay attention to how long the free edge is. This is fine. This is fine. 
Hey, more bean pads. Can I can I touch you? Yeah. This nice soft boy. Oh, look at this soft fur. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Nice, Mr. Bainy. Say these scratches are subpar. <laughs> oh, and a treat. Want a treat? Yes. Oh, who's so polite? What a polite boy. What a polite boy. Yes. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, I, uh, I, there was a year, a whole year, <laughs> where I wore my nails round. And it was okay, but I prefer them, like, more squoval. But, like, definitely, like, this sharp of a corner is too sharp for me. All right. And I'll try to keep as much of this on camera as I can. But sometimes filing on camera gets a little bit difficult. I also used to be scared to like file my sidewalls. Like the main thing is don't like file down into your nail bed if that makes sense. And like make it weaker. Like try to stick with just the actual grown out free edge of the nail. And file it evenly. Don't leave like a... What do I want to say? Like a thin portion behind. Um, but a little bit of a taper. I do like. Otherwise my nails start to look a little wide. Especially sometimes when they're short. Like they just look like little chunky chiclets. Hey Gidge. Oh hey another beanie treat from Gidge. He's already. Look at this. Pudge pudge. <laughs> I missed what? I did not miss it. I saw it. Nom nom nom. Mm. All right. Also, like when you file a lot, sometimes you get that little bit under the edge just a little, a little bit of that action also some of my nails that curve are another reason I like to do a little bit of filing on the side just to help with the shape and with the curving Yeah, he Beanie's Beanie's a good boy. Let's let's say 85% of the time. <laughs> the other day. Was it the other day when we were doing nails? And he was trying to he was getting under the bed and just making the loudest racket about it. Like, I mean, if I have to pick between the two, I'd rather he go under the bed than in the closet, even though there's things for him to fuck with in both places. But he always makes just the biggest ruckus. And then it's like, I don't know. Don't I don't want him to get I don't want him to destroy things under there. And I also don't want him to hurt himself under there. Now, I don't know. There's I don't think there's anything for him to hurt himself with under there, but I don't want him like scratching my shoe boxes and who knows all what else. Yeah, nail pulp. Nail butt. I mean, butt spot, you're not wrong. Olives. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I I if we, if I take a hand wash break, no, I probably should take a hand wash break cuz I don't know how long this filing is going to take. I did a I did a sugar scrub before I started stream actually. But 
after fucking around with the cuticles, I might could benefit from another one. Now, this is the nail that's patched. Do I want to mess with the sidewalls? I don't know that I do. I'll just need to remember that they need attention. Well, maybe a little bit. Because, like, here is kind of... You know, we talk about this all quite often, like, how, how much of a curve this nail has. And it, like, it continues to the free edge. So I like to at least make sure that the free edge is, like, straight coming coming off the side there, if that makes sense. Instead of, like, curving down there. Fighting monsters. <laughs> yeah, collect all nail art speedrun. No, this is uh, this is what I started streaming three years ago. No. <laughs> um, I streamed only nail art for about a month before I started my Hollow Knight addiction, and it was right around the time that they that tags were introduced and there was no nail art tag and so I requested it and uh, silly me at the time did not connect my nail art to Hollow Knight nail art until I saw Hollow Knight players starting to use the nail art tag and I was like oh haha -ha. <laughs> I guess maybe that was a few months after I started streaming it's hard to remember like the exact timeline of stuff like that but when I started streaming I was streaming in creative there was no beauty in body art Good old creative. <laughs> hey, Mel, thank you. It is, uh... Don't, yeah, I don't... <laughs> it needs some attention, too, but, you know, just... Put it in a puff, it'd be alright. I, uh... I thought about washing it today, because it really needs a wash. But that much, like up here action I was like you know maybe once my arm is not hit killing me quite so much the puff do be cute but the pop the puff generally means that I need to wash my hair <laughs> all right so we've got our you know cleaned up edges and our not so cleaned up edges you know, this really, this isn't bad. This isn't a bad length at all. I like this length. This length would have used to really bother me. But I mean, I've still got like a decent amount of free edge, realistically. So it's fine. A baby. Oh God. I cringe so hard at my early videos. I mean, I cringe so hard at my current videos too honestly <laughs> like the, the cringe never stops when you're editing yourself um okay um but yeah like the early ones like when I went through literally everything for the uh the 10 year the 10 year compilation I don't know like I'm still I don't I don't I don't know if I could still call myself like comfortable on camera or like narrating tutorials or whatever but like back then I was very nervous and I feel like I can hear it in my voice <laughs> but mm. Nutella lattes now it's not something I can enjoy, of course, because Nutella is made out of hazelnut, but I bet that would be good for, you know, if you like, if you like that, if you like that sort of thing. All right. So just the same little bit of tapering on the sides and a little bit of gentle rounding on the corners. Mm. 
yeah I've been natural for probably I don't know more than five years it's been a while at this point I haven't even straightened my hair in the last couple years at all kind of lazied out and stopped I'm, I'm a very lazy natural like I can't even remember the last time I had like a proper a proper trim or anything like that I also would like to put in some braids again but my arm is definitely not up for that but soon and decide which ones I want to put in like I have some twists I have some longer braids I don't know Hey, Red, thank you. Yeah, in a way, it's more work, but... I don't know. It could be... If I was a good natural... And I put that in quotations, because, I mean, that's up to personal interpretation, but... It would be a lot more work. But... I mean, I like it. I like I like being able to, for the most part, manage my own hair, which, like with a relaxer, was pretty difficult. So this nail is going to be like pretty much the shortest, but it also is one of my longest nail beds. You can see, even though it's shorter, it's still, yeah, it's still slightly longer than like my. Uh, my ring finger this is a weird angle of course when I go like that then they're not at the same there that's an okay angle so it's a little bit crooked and it's uh, an oddly long nail bed which I notice like when I go short I notice even more I'm like, man, I really, my nail here is really short. And then I look and I have to remind myself like, yes, but it's still like the similar length with the other nails because of the nail bed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can get away a lot of the times with minimal effort minimal product not so much <laughs> like natural hair takes so much product to stay manageable This nail is still really oh, so much cuticle dust. Um, I was trying to see if I could get a good view on the. Uh, uh oh, my stomach literally just growled. Um, my uneven C curve here. It it looks so much better when it's short, but actually that's a good view because you can see like how it it curves more downward on this side very very lopsided but that's where the creative filing comes in get it to look straight from most angles But yeah, I mean, I could probably go another couple weeks with it in a puff if I, like, completely lazied out, but I'm going to try not to. Polo right thumb with barely any free edge and more rounded corners than any of the other nails because if the corners are too uh, cornery I don't know that's not a word but like I'll just I'll break them on the controller 
So better to just round them out in the first place. And we are like slightly past the tip here, just not as much as the other nails. I feel like these are looking pretty good. That didn't even take that long. Of course, now we're going to have to decide our color combination that we're going to be putting on. I also feel like I want to give the cuticles more attention. Mm. Let's see here. Um... What is today? The 11th? Maybe I should have gone on the bottom of the page. Oh well. Um, I had these out mainly because we were talking about... I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys have the, the rainbow collection, but which would you guys recommend of these? If you were going to recommend one person one color. Coral, orange, or yellow? I feel like not the yellow unless you're a fan of yellow I'm I'm sitting here trying to think if I've ever just like strictly painted my nails yellow and I don't think I have I basically only use yellow when it's with something else um between the coral and the orange I find this a very non-objectionable coral I'm not usually a huge coral fan um I might recommend the coral. It took me like most of the stream to come to this recommendation because <laughs> we were talking about it like before I even started cutting my nails. But um, today I think we're either gonna do the magenta, AKA pink. Um, it, okay, so let's just do, we'll do a swatch of all four of these and then we'll do all three flakies on top of each. So make it a long swatch. Is that long enough for three? Do something about like that, should be good. Check my date. Twa. Fuck. Oh no, God, I'm so clumsy. literally uh, I don't I mean I, I don't know I, I know it's not still 2020 thank goodness I guess I just don't write the date enough to I mean it's literally right there that's our testing by the way if anybody missed our last nail stream dude that that stamping testing honestly so fucking satisfying any one of those could be a manicure the one with the arrow is of course the one that we went with um oh god those look good that <laughs> that's my favorite manicure that I've done in like a long while I loved how that turned out I'm so mad I lost one of the peelies super mad yeah halfway through the year yeah, well, and it's not like, I mean, yes, I do still have paper checks and I write some from time to time, but I don't think I've had to write one since like fucking probably my quarterly estimated in January. When I was, when I worked, like, uh, I was dealing with the dates every day. Like, I don't remember, like when I was at my office job, ever being confused past like the first week of the year. Cause like we literally like almost everything we dealt with was just, you know, the date every single day, day in and day out. Yeah, not, not, not the traditional nostalgia. Not everything of 2020 sucked, but I think for a lot, if not most people, most of it was uh, a little bit or a lot of it. All right. 
we'll get these two coats on here and then we'll let it dry while I uh, dig at my cuticles a little bit more and then we'll do the uh, the flakies over top mm. now just we I mean we did a full rainbow reciprocal reciprocal a full rainbow gradient obviously like even just the purple blue and well it would be the the top is the magenta like these these four would go together so nicely this is the kind of color palette that is my favorite purples and blues and greens and a pink that kind of still falls into the purple category yeah this this year like this year i think is better but this year is still not you know normal um <clears throat> like i'm thinking about what i can do in my two weeks once i've got my you know full immunity or whatever but you still have to wear masks out and you still gotta in a lot of instances social distance and it's really been disappointing to me how many people I know IRL who have like fucking turned into anti-vaxxers like you know I'm like yeah I'm getting my you know I'm getting my second shot when you get yours I'm not getting that and I'm like what is wrong with you like these are the people that are gonna have this sticking around forever really really unfortunate i'm so glad that a lot of you guys are vaccinated or on your way to getting vaccinated or wishing you could get vaccinated and not just out here like oh i'm not i'm not i'm not doing that like it's it's for everybody's benefit it's like the not getting vaccinated is like the dumbest possible way to be selfish because you're not even doing yourself any favors mm. I have not played Grizz G G Gidge. I saw it was on sale a little while ago. It's on my wish list, I, th I think, I guess. So I got like a notification. The East Coast gas shortage. I've heard about that. I'm in Minnesota, so I don't think so. I don't, I don't know what regular gas price is, but when I was out yesterday, I wasn't like, holy God, look at the gas prices. The only thing that I particularly noticed was when I drove by the gas station that had been closed when I got my first vaccine because of all the uh, protests slash riots um, was back to being open yesterday. So that was kind of nice to see that little bit of kind of normalcy return. I should play it, Gidge. I have many, many, many games I should probably play that I already own that I've either purchased myself or gifted you you're only half done I thought you played the whole thing Gidge yeah Ember I just like I'm like what what's next you're gonna come at me with some flat earth shit this conspiracy theory shit is just it ain't it 17 months Gidge thank you for the resub Oh, next Tuesday. Nice, son. I hope it goes well. I'm very, very glad. Like, I, I'll admit, I was kind of nervous that it was going to, like, hit me hard or that I was going to feel like shit. And, like, I'm tired and I basically just, like, was very low-key yesterday and just was kind of... I didn't actually get any naps, but, like, I laid down a couple times and I just made sure to drink a bunch of water. And other than feeling tired today, I'm not really having any side effects. And I know you said a lot of people in your family also didn't, son, so hopefully you don't either. But if you like anybody, if anybody's like scared to get the vaccine because of that, like even people who have had, you know, symptoms, it's not like long term or anything. It's like, you know, a day of having a fever in order to be protected from this shit. Like it's worth it's worth. Mm. Yeah, well, I talked to this one friend. It's like a very old friend. We don't talk very often anymore. And she was talking about how she had just moved and, you know, was closer in the neighborhood. And, you 
you know, we should get together. And I was like, yeah, I just got my vaccine yesterday. Have you gotten yours yet? And they're like, I'm not getting that. I'm like, well, I'm not hanging out with you. And I know that like the, the CDC has been like, you know, if you're fully vaccinated, that it's probably okay to gather with unvaccinated people. But, you know, call me overly cautious, but number one, just like, no, <laughs> like, uh, I got the the Pfizer Ember. Oh, half done Vax, not half done with Grizz. Yeah, I remember you saying, Gidge, that the Canadian, uh, what is it called? Not recipe, but that the one that that was they were offering in Canada had such a far out date for the second Vax. I was I hadn't I didn't really know that there was one that that the booster was so far out. Like, I only had to wait three weeks with the Pfizer. Like, the Moderna is four weeks. But I was kind of glad. I didn't get to choose. It was basically just, uh, you know, whatever they got allocated by the State Department of Health that week was what they were giving. Um, my parents got Moderna. So... Vax, wax, and tax. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, people are like, oh my God, what if there's, you know, a microchip in there? As you walk around with your cell phone in your pocket on Facebook all day long, paying taxes with your self identification number that was assigned to you by the government. The government knows where the fuck you are. They don't need to stick a microchip in you. Like any like also, why do why do people think that the government gives a damn about them? I mean, <laughs> maybe that is not like a, a great thing to say, but like the government literally does not care about you enough to stick a microchip in you. Okay? They don't. They don't care about you. They care if you pay your taxes. <laughs> mm. ATT, I do not, I'm on, well, I guess it's not Sprint anymore. Apparently it's T-Mobile, but I got a two also, like I ordered a take advantage of T-Mobile's speeds by updating your SIM card. And I ordered that and then I haven't actually uh, done it. <laughs> I need to get the, like, I don't think it's hard, but it was like, start by backing up all your, and I'm like, I don't want to do it right now. So I still haven't done it. Yeah, I think that's understandable, Brooke. Just because, I mean, whenever you're pregnant, like everything becomes a little more dramatic. And most of the shots have been, I, I don't think actually any of the shots have been approved for young children. Although some of them have been approved for young teens at this point. And, that, and that's another reason that people who are not pregnant don't have an allergy to something in the vaccine, haven't had adverse reactions to vaccines in the past, you need to get on top of your shit so that the people that actually have a reason for not getting it are protected. Like, it doesn't just protect yourself. It protects everybody. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, a spam or a lewd text. I get very little spam on my phone because I don't use it as a phone very often. And anytime, like, I do actually use the number to, like, sign up for anything or something, and then I get, like, an increase in, in spam calls or something like that, I'm like, okay, y'all fuckers, selling your, you know, selling people's information. But. Yeah, I just, it's like, the, the the things that people imagine are a conspiracy all comes down to, like, thinking you're the center of the world and anybody gives a damn about you. Like, in most cases, people are selfish. You know? They don't have time to be worrying about what other people are doing.
Yeah, congrats, Nutty. Well, yeah, we got on the subject because I just got my second one yesterday. So, and and I was I've I've got a couple IRL friends that are like, I'm not getting that. My one friend is like, well, I don't want to grow a tail, and I'm like, <sighs> I don't know if you think you're funny or if you're like actually serious, but like that doesn't exist. And if it did, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be in the vaccine. Like if there was a shot that you could stick in somebody and grow a tail, I'm pretty sure that that would not be like, like just if you, you like ask us like why? And like, I've never, not like thankfully I've had that many people in my life to ask, but like, there's never any good reason. It's not like, oh, well, you know, it's made with such and such, which it turns out I'm allergic to and have had a bad reaction in the past. It's like, no, I don't want to grow a tail. And it's like, Like, I, like, I, like, really, like, you're, you're on the level of a flat earther to me if you are coming at me with these conspiracy theories. Mm. Yeah, I'm just saying. Exactly, Nuki. Sylvie, if, if, if there was a shot that could, I mean, also, like, if there's a shot that could grow you a tail, I'm pretty sure they could, you know, whip that up and then amputees could just grow a new leg like they're not gonna secretly roll out this new technology secretly in a shot that everybody's getting for free if there's a shot that could grow you a tail they're gonna be charging your ass money for it i mean that's just my thought on on the absurd conspiracy theory as far as tails go <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah then I won't have to worry about poor little right thumb because I'll just play games with my tail yeah yeah the government is actually a secret agency controlled by furries and they want everybody to be a furry no worries dino <laughs> pup time pup time I love you I wish Pup Time would come visit me someday like they come visit Math. They came and visited Math and posted five grubs in a row in his channel. Yeah, we're talking about the conspiracies of people who don't want to get the vaccine, Dino. My one friend said she didn't want to grow a tail. And I had to look at her like she was crazy. The one that interrupted stream the other day, if y'all are curious. Not like y'all know who that is, but for reference. <laughs> Oh, and it's just sad. It's like, you know, I don't know. I suppose they say the same thing about us. Like, oh man, it's sad. They're so brainwashed. But like, you're being brainwashed by people who are crazy while we're being brainwashed by people that actually know what the fuck they're talking about. I mean, I guess that comes down to the main thing. It's like, they don't believe that the people who know what they're talking about know what they're talking about. They'd rather listen to, you know, random podcast person or some shit. Like, I just, I don't relate that. <laughs> yeah. Calf. <laughs> yeah. 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 Th then the whole microchip thing, like... Do, do you really think that the government needs a microchip to keep track of you? And why why would, you know, wh why, why does anybody think that anybody cares about them that much? The government does not care about you that much. I'm, sh I'm sure also that there has to be some alien conspiracy theory out there also. Like, uh, you know, vaccines can't be produced that fast. So maybe the vaccine is from aliens. And if you get the vaccine, then you're going to be abducted. I probably shouldn't like say this. I'm going to start a conspiracy theory accidentally, but I just, <sighs> it gets me a little bit worked up, you know, uh, you know, I've got asthma, I've got high blood pressure. I'm obese. My parents are senior citizens. You know, I've been taking this shit seriously the whole time. And a lot of times the people that don't want to get vaccinated are the same people that haven't been taking it seriously the whole time. And well, I haven't gotten sick yet. So I'm just going to hope that I don't ever get sick and, you know, not get the vaccine to prevent getting sick. 
it, it's like the same argument as if somebody were going to tell me like proudly that they don't wear their seatbelt because well I've never been in a car accident and if I did I'll probably be fine and you know sometimes seatbelts actually make car accidents worse that's what you sound like when you talk about not getting a vaccine like I don't know not like we just we went off on a whole rant here but look <laughs> so yeah, exactly, Dino. Ex- exactly, exactly. You know, you've already had a number assigned to you since birth. I mean, if you're going to start getting mad about the government keeping track of you, you're going to ditch your social security number? You're going to, you know, go off grid? You're going to you're gonna stop using your credit card to pay for shit at the store? Now, you, you want to talk about some, some, some you're, you're getting tracked shit. Go to the store and don't buy something that you usually buy and watch that that coupon machine spit out a coupon for that thing because you paid with the same credit card but people aren't worried about that they're worried about you know I, I just can't I literally just cannot relate Yeah, I mean, we joke about it sometimes, especially since we have uh, Big G over there listening. Uh, You know, I just... uh, There's so much easier, cheaper ways for the government to know what the fuck you're doing than to sneak uh, a microchip inside your vaccine. (laughs) Yeah. See, Brooke, that's, I mean, that's somewhat more understandable to me, although, like, not as much. Like, do they think that previous vaccines or stuff have led to the infertility? And and the thing is, that's not unheard of. Like, there are people that have poor reactions to vaccines, but the numbers are so much lower than the people that have bad reactions to COVID, right? yeah yeah i mean i hopefully he was joking too dino or i mean if he was serious and he's still getting a vaccine maybe he's just accepted that you know our uh, our microchip overlords will get you one way or the other <clears throat> yeah it's and it's kind of funny to me it's like s- so and I'm sure there are people you know maybe even in my community and I'm sorry if I'm making you feel like alienated or attacked but like I really think you are dumb if you don't get the vaccine unless you have a valid reason not to like like I said there there are valid reasons I'm not saying there are zero valid reasons I'm just saying all the people I know who are saying no do not have valid reasons but the vast vast majority of everywhere i go on twitch everybody's like i'm getting the vaccine have you got your vaccine congrats on getting your vaccine like everybody here i feel like i'm so much more on the same page with than the people in my real life it just feels like that that makes me feel a certain kind of way yeah yeah calf i don't think i've ever had that happen to me but yeah I've heard a lot of things. Made from a fun star drop cutscene. <laughs> ice cream, amethyst. Ooh. I have ice cream, but I need to have dinner first. Yeah, exactly, Spacey. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that I mean that's a fair point too. Well, and the other thing too is vaccines are not a new thing, right? Like no, you can't just new disease vaccine for it tomorrow. But vaccines are not a new thing. So they know what they're doing as far as vaccines go. 
It's it's not like I mean like I can imagine back back in the back in the day like when vaccines first came out like yeah I can understand being scared of them, and I know that there are still some people that are like scared of them now or that think that they you know cause you know a laundry list of things that you know could be attributed to vaccines but you know the 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 point of fact is vaccines are much safer than the shit that you're getting vaccinated against that's the bottom line safer for you and safer for everybody yeah so son do you know yet are you gonna have to i know you said you went to the office today are you gonna have to be going back more now that people are vaccinated or are you still gonna be able to work from home for a while I know a lot of places have, you know, stuck with remote um, at this point. Yeah, well, I mean, there's those people, too, that are like, well, you know, I'm just going to use my crystals to fight COVID. (laughs) And it's like... The, the thing is, like, a lot of the people in my, you know, real life circle that this are coming from, it's like, I, I wasn't aware of them having anti-vax or conspiracy theory leanings previously to this. So it's almost kind of interesting in a way. It's like, what is it about this that's making previously reasonable people unreasonable? You know, especially as much as people wanted to like go back to normal, and now we're presented with a way to go back to normal. But no, not that way. You know, they want COVID to just magically like disappear as though it never was, which is unrealistic. Instead of <coughs> doing their part of, of the realistic way to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, red, exactly. What is that called? The fa- is that a is that a fallacy of truth? Is that what that's called? Or or is that a a, a something something association? Like this happened and this happened. Well, it must be cuz, you know, Yeah, Spacey. It might become, you know, like a flu shot. Get your yearly flu shot and your yearly COVID shot. Maybe we can get a combo. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Tiger tail. Isn't that the worst sounding ice cream ever invented? anything anything dot anything twitch wants to think is a is a url so for those who who perhaps don't know what the fuck is a tiger tail ice cream it looks like a tiger and it's orange and licorice had to make sure y'all could see my frown there (laughs) yeah calf that's really true it's like uh, living in your own fantasy world, yet still interacting dangerously in many cases with the real world. Yeah, yeah, and and it's like. You want to have some sympathy because obviously not everybody has a, you know, a home office or whatever. But you'd think if you were working from home for presumably at this point quite some while that you would find a quiet corner to set up your office space in. I mean, I don't have an office, but it's usually pretty quiet in here. Unless, you know, unless, unless he starts to cause a ruckus. 
I don't think I've ever even seen Tiger Tail uh, in the stores around here. I mean, now granted, if I saw it, I would immediately avert my eyes and look away. <laughs> I remember you said that, Dino. I couldn't. I couldn't. I would. I would need to. Like, number one, my brain doesn't just work when I get out of bed. I need some wake-up time. I need some tea. I need some water. Waking up my my brain and my body. Okay, that's a weird way to put that. But, like, I, I could never be, like, a nighttime showerer. Sh- showerer? Because I need that morning shower to, like, wake me up. Like, I'm not fully awake until I've been in the shower. And I would not be comfortable. Like, even if I someday, well, I've, I've done it a couple times, but even if I did like a no cam stream, I couldn't do that in my pajamas. Are you kidding me? No, I would have to be dressed. Mm. Yeah, that's nice, Basie. When you're well enough to, to function, but not necessarily well enough to go anywhere or I mean honestly I think like you know America's and I mean other parts of the world too whole mentality on being sick made this whole thing worse because so many people are used to just well you get sick and you just deal with it you go to work and everything and all that whereas other parts of the world it was already common to as a courtesy wear a mask when you're sick so you don't get other people sick or actually use your damn sick time and and not go into the office i mean that that's a whole other rant i think i'm pretty sure i've ranted about that before you know when i was a manager and being told i needed to write an employee up for being sick too often like literally after they had almost been sent home by the owner of the company because they came back and were like hey you don't look too good maybe you should go home and then like a a, a couple days or weeks later i'm told to write this person up for being sick when you told them to go home like i like i understand there have to be some policies in place in order to prevent people abusing the system and stuff but there also needs to be flexibility in place so that people aren't punished for something that's beyond their control like they're probably sick because that other person that was afraid of being written up came into work sick now they got all these other people sick that might actually you know get worse sick than they were <clears throat> yeah yeah i think it was uh was it three days a year or something or maybe three incidents a year and uh for some people that's fine and for other people that's detrimental you know you never know when you're gonna get sick yeah i suppose they figure you had most of those things already and you're saving money by not driving to the office but yeah i feel like there should be some reimbursement if some of that needed setup or is drastically different than what you were doing previously yeah exactly they're saving on office costs well they are if they've closed the office or like a lot of places i think possibly are not necessarily saving on office costs because they've needed to maintain a regular office even when people aren't able to be working there i feel like this side of my cuticle is just like so dry i i probably should do another little quick sugar scrub after i've been scraping on all my cuticles for however long we've been scraping i keep just finding little spots that need some attention anyway (laughs) oh hell no I'd be like I'm not using my own phone y'all can get me a phone or you can email me (laughs) shorties not that shorty okay what are we putting on the shorties that is the question Yeah, 
I don't think I've ever worked anywhere with separate sick or vacation time. Well, I was a temp for a while, so I didn't actually... Oh, God, that's really pretty. Um, I'll give you guys some different angles and flashlight time on this, too. I was a temp for a long time, so I didn't have any of that. And then at my office job, we just had PTO, which was considered both. But again, with the, you know, limitations on the, uh, on how much of it you were supposed to use for sick time. Y'all, oh, how am I going to pick? This is only the first flaky and it looks good on all of them. Oh, fuck. Fucking first world problems, y'all. Please what, Dino? (laughs) Mm. Five different categories of leave? Wait. Sick? Vacation? Question mark, question mark, question mark? (laughs) What what even, how are you even going to have five, maybe like a family type of a leave situation although if it's like actually leave then that's like FMLA mm. that's nice that you that you can get a bonus for not using it but then again that could lead people to not using it when it should be used just because they want to get that bonus hmm Okay, again, how am I supposed to pick? Oh. HM, you know, I'm having a pretty good night. We, I've been ranting and raving a little bit, but everybody's been agreeing with me, so it's fine. <laughs> Sick. Per- wouldn't personal be vacation? What is IWAP, LWAP? LWAP? What what is kid what is that? Mm. Yeah, America. <laughs> Musical, enjoy your lurk. Musical, look how pretty Musical, look how short my nails are. Well, you're lurking, you don't have to look, but if if you if you if you still have a an eyeball on the screen, we did a chop. Leave without pay. Well, but then that can't be part of your leave time if you're not getting paid. I mean, I guess it could. A certain amount of of unpaid, acceptable time. Oh, God, the gold is cute, too, you guys. Uh, Whimsy, enjoy your lurk. We're going to get to the color therapy shortly. We've been, we've had the ranting portion of the stream. And now we, we face an extremely difficult decision. Because I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I mean, if I were to go with my go-to, it would be either, either the blue or the purple with the blue. Second preference is probably the green with the green or blue or the magenta with the blue. And the gold also looks really good, but I'm less inclined towards. I I really like the magenta with the blue too. The blues, the blue over them all, I think is my favorite overall. Oh, come on camera. Hold on. Gold is saving lives. Gold, purple, green with the gold, gold and blue. The green over the blue better and the gold over the purple. Oh my God, there's so many. Like I said, there's not a wrong answer here. Camera, you gonna, you gonna make it? You gonna be all right?
also like in person so like in camera right now the flakies are popping out but in person the hollow is popping like that all right so at certain angles like the hollow is still gonna pop out right and then at other angles like the flaky is gonna pop out Dude, look at look at look at the flakies are almost invisible because they're sheer and then you just oh gosh oh gosh oh how will i ever decide <laughs> also i don't think i said hello jaded anybody else i might have missed while ranting i do apologize a coconut cake I mean, they're close with the cake part. <laughs> Dude, that sucks, Wisp. I don't want to be one of those people that's just like, sue the fuck out of them, but I kind of hope that she sued the fuck out of them. <laughs> All right, camera, you want to you wanna focus? Maybe, maybe. I'm Th there are no bad decisions here. There are no bad decisions here. Now, at some angles, it does get a little bit weird. But, like, those angles are pretty few and far between. Like that, there you get a little bit of a weird angle. The, uh, the blue in particular can get a little bit of a yellowy looking situation. But, not at very many angles. Camera, please just focus. Why do you hate shiny things, camera? Hmm? Hmm? It's trying. Maybe I should just move that focus, please. There we go. Turn that off. Turn off the autofocus for a little bit. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to think about things uh, very carefully. And then when we get back when we, we being me, get back the green gold or the magenta blue oh, they're both really good like y'all know that purple blue like that's my knee jerk reaction but I all, the magenta blue is also really really good and the green, green you know, I keep going but then but then but then they're all cute they're all good And the green and the green and the blue and the blue. And also, I mean, like, I didn't even have these colors out there. But, like, imagine the gold over the pale yellow. Like, it's a, it's a slightly warmer gold, I think, than the, than the yellow is. I feel like the, what is this called? Lemon Spritzer is kind of reads a little bit cool like at certain shades or certain shades certain angles it almost looks like a greenish yellow um like the yellow would look really good over the gold too honestly i probably should have done the whole collection and then swatched over the whole collection but it will it will be one of these Hey, CZ, hello. I, I don't know how I'm going to decide. The blue on blue was one of my first considerations. Oh, the blue on magenta, though. 
I'm not a huge fan of the green over magenta. I do like the green over the purple. I'm not a huge fan of the gold over the purple, I don't think. Because at certain angles, like... Let's see if I can catch it on... At certain angles, it's got like a little bit of a warmer, like orangey red to it. Of course, I guess, you know, I should say I like them less. Not that I don't like them. Because I don't dislike it. It's just less something I would probably immediately go to. I think we're probably doing the blue or the green, though, as far as flakies go. Blue and magenta, blue and purple, blue or green, blue, and blue or green, green. After this break. <laughs> hey, Fairy Nightlife, welcome. Uh, it is not a regular notebook. It's, uh... Well, this isn't showing what I, what I wanted it to show. Let me scoot these out of the way if I can get the, uh... It's like a slightly, of course this is upside down too, so that's not like super useful. It's a slightly heavier weight paper, 65 pound paper. So the, uh, I feel like when I, when I initially got my first nail polish sketchbook, um, I felt like regular paper would be kind of too flimsy for, for all the painting and stuff. So I went with like a slightly heavier sketch, sketch pad notebook sort of a thing. And I liked it well enough. The new one that I have, because we're like a couple pages from the end of this one, is this, this same notebook. The green and the magenta purple. Yeah. Wait. Oh, the... As... Is there? Yeah. Because Maleficent is like... kind of darker colors but like I could see I could see what you mean musical green over blue we're, n we're nobody's gonna agree a lot of times you guys are like all agreeing and I'm the one that's like I don't know y'all all have different fav favorites I think oh well, that sucks wisp Yeah, this is, this is actually, like, it's not a full-size notebook. It's, uh, what is it? 5.5 .5 by 8.5, and this is, like, my second one, I think. Yeah. Well, no, this isn't my first one. So, this, this nail polish sketchbook started in April of 2016, Oh, we were just talking about this the other day. Drip marbling. Some of my original drip marble decals that I preserved in here. My my first drip marble, this pink and purple one, honestly is one of my favorite ones. And the like the drip drop blob cure. And then this up here was like the uh, the elemental swirls I remember doing. But yeah, like it comes in so handy to like go back and see stuff or to get re-inspired or to find something where I'm like, oh, I never finished that. Glitter placement testing, more drip drop blob of your stuff. This is old stuff. Sometimes the pages stick together a little bit, even though I try to make sure that it's, oh, this is like a many years ago Christmas. I try to make sure it's fully dry before I close it, but I mean, it's nail polish. What is this? <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff in here. Cute things. I don't think I, oh no, I did this. I was gonna say, I don't think I did anything that's on this page, but I did do this. I remember. Yeah, I love having a nail polish sketchbook. It's cool, there's good stuff in here. Smooshies. And I've gone through it much more. Like I didn't always used to test stuff, but See, where do we go? Where does stream start? Mm. No, this was this was on stream. This was on stream too. Here? 
here. We started stream with the water marble, which the water marble tests are not in here, of course. I've got a whole separate shoebox of like water marble test strips. But yeah, if you look like the first chunk of this notebook, this chunk is pre-stream and this is all like since I started streaming. Because we almost always test things during stream. Mm. No, the lava was on stream. The lava was on stream. Where was it? When was the lava dated? Where'd it go? Is the lava dated? I'm pretty sure the lava was on stream. The lava's not dated though. These were for sure on stream. And this is in like June of 2018, so that's for sure on stream. I think the lava was on stream. Yeah, Musical? You're a bad person. No, Dino, it just means that you may happen to have a life that does not allow you to always see all of my streams. Imagine. How dare you have a life, Dino? God. <laughs> Live lava debates. Yeah, I mean, only the good, like, final version, I think, ended up in here. Maybe a couple alternatives, but... I liked that lava manicure. That was, we haven't done a drip drop in a long time. We haven't done decals in a long time period. We should do some decals sometime. Decals always make me nervous though because application is hard and getting them to dry just the right amount can be hard too. Ray Ray, hello. Um, I hope I haven't missed anybody. I've been ranting. I've been swatching. I've been probably gargling a couple times and not even noticing it. And I also am sleepy. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Like, did we want to cycle everything or did we want to focus on, yeah. I love, honestly, like, I'm just sitting here getting like reminiscent, but like, it's so fun to like brainstorm with you guys. Um, like nail art is always fun, but it's, it's also fun to like brainstorm with you guys. And sometimes like there have been many times where we've gone in completely different directions than what I've initially intended to just based on a random comment in chat that half the time doesn't even necessarily have to do with the, uh, what gauge with the manicure. Hi, butt. <laughs> I mean, if I get it, Gidge, I, did, I never did get the last set of creams because it wasn't released as a collection. If the next set is, I mean, I, I don't know what I'd use it for. I mean, it'll depend. Can't ask those types of questions. I don't know. Listening to Exploring the Lord of the Rings. Is that that podcast? Canada Day Nails. Gidge, I'm pretty sure we've discussed this before, but I'm not Canadian. I don't care about Canada Day. <laughs> I barely care about uh, holidays that I do celebrate. Yeah, Dino, supposedly. I mean, there's a purple one too, right? I mean, shocker. I'm a little bit more excited for that one. I think all the colors she used in her jawbreaker are either out or coming out. No, you got you guys do your own Canada Day nails and stream them. You should have a computer by then, right, Gidge? <laughs> I do not know how I'm going to make this decision. I'm going to delay it for about five minutes while I take a break. Do you have a, a date on the back order yet, Gidge? Wait, there wasn't there a date before? Have they passed the date that they said? I'm so confused. I can I cannot keep track. The Maple Stream. Yeah, I mean, cause like right now, so what? We have black, we have blue, we have indigo, 
white. And then the art sake bundle had yellow, green, and gray. So as far as like, you know, primary and secondary colors, we're missing red, orange, and purple. Right? No date, just sit and wait. Ugh. Oh yeah, plus the pink and the light blue. We were talking earlier about... Are you not in here? I don't think they're in here. Where did I put them? We were talking earlier about those because we were talking about the... Uh, the Unicorn Dream Set. Yeah, they're very nice also. Actually, maybe you should go live in the hollow taco drawer instead of in that shoebox. That would be smart of me. Yeah, the, the fact that there's like a whole account just for like... That's, that's me looking through the spyglass. You know, peeking, you know, what's in the background of the, of the, uh, uh, what are they called? TikToks, or what's in the background of the, uh, podcasts. Have you considered Gidge looking elsewhere? Or is it still just, like, can't even find them in the first place? So you might as well wait on the one where you were at least able to place an order? course do you have a phone gidge you could just stream from your phone your canada day canada canada day nail creation words are hard just do it just do it with your phone it'll be fine <laughs> or you know at one point I saw Christine mention that she was interested in streaming, but then I didn't see her say anything else about it. I was going to say, talk Christine into streaming. Surely she'll do some Canada Day. Can't, can it, why is that a tongue twister? Canada Day Nails. Yeah. Ugh. I know a lot of people, I keep seeing people talk about how hard the stuff is, and it's kind of, I mean, thankfully, if I were to get a new computer, I would not be building it myself so I probably wouldn't have to deal with that but I think even pre-builts are having some trouble with the part shortage just noticed I have a little bit of leftover uh gel right there which I'm just scraping off with my nail tool don't do that you should soak off leftover gel on your nail don't do as I do because I'm bad yeah I think I think it would be crazy especially if she did it on YouTube because YouTube apparently has very very shit moderation um I know a lot of people that stream on YouTube who go members only mode and even still it's hard to keep keep things uh, under control That's the end of my tea. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I've participated in enough live streams to really have a, a super good feel of it, but I know that the vibe feels a lot different and I know that for like larger streamers that I see them complain a lot about the lack of moderate uh, the lack of moderation tools over there. I mean, that's YouTube, right? <laughs> I mean, there's trolls on Twitch. There's trolls everywhere. There's trolls everywhere on the internet and there's trolls everywhere in real life. But I've had far less problems with trolls here than just even in YouTube comments. I can't imagine a YouTube live stream. I also wonder what moderation tools they do have. Like, Twitch has decent moderation tools, plus, like, lots of the bots have different moderation tools. 
yeah it can be a tough balance to grow and also keep the community brook sorry i just felt a little a little catchy spot it it depends i and it depends on the stream or two and it depends on the chat also like i've seen some larger streamers where the chat is not overwhelming and they still do a really good job interacting with chat and then i've seen some that maybe aren't even that big but their chat is full of people that you know are very spammy and very you know kind of disrespectful yeah twitch the focus is streaming and youtube has streaming but it's not really the focus so the other thing that i i mean like obviously i thought about streaming on youtube when i started because i have an established community there but i'm i'm very glad that i chose twitch like i it feels so much cozier i don't know <laughs> yeah dino you spammer how dare you <laughs> says who gidge Sounds like a lie to me. Sounds like uh, fake news. Fake news propaganda and conspiracy theories. No, you're wrong, Gidge. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I would say most of the streamers that I watch are like, smaller or mid-sized streamers but the larger streamers that i do watch with any regularity are the ones that still like manage to interact with their chat yeah i mean same on youtube though calf you youtube ain't giving you that large of a cut either and honestly people on youtube would probably love it if they would take a slightly larger cut and get better moderations Yeah, YouTube, YouTube streams too just... Like, how do you explain a vibe? Like, YouTube lives just have a weird vibe to me. And I don't know if that's because YouTube live or if it's just because I'm used to Twitch. You know? Yeah, I looked at memberships on YouTube. I don't remember the exact percent. I mean, too, on Twitch, if you're a partner, you can negotiate different percentages than what affiliates get. And also, YouTube takes a cut of Super Chat after the donation as well, to my understanding. Whereas with Twitch, while they do charge up front more for bits, when you cheer bits, Twitch does not take a cut of that. You, you pay the Twitch cut up front. Um, and if you donate directly, well there are still fees attached to that but the fee does not go to twitch directly uh goes to like you know Streamlabs or paypal or whatever it's through yeah chaos vibe well and the other thing with youtube too okay how do you find live streams if it's somebody you've never followed maybe this is easy and i'm just dumb but once when i tried to just like find a live section to browse i literally couldn't find it number two they recently introduced clips, but you apparently, there's nowhere you can view your clips after you take them. And like, there's no raids. You stop stream and you're, you can't even send your people anywhere. That to me seems super funky. Like I enjoy raiding and I enjoy getting raided. I love sharing my community with other people and I appreciate when other people share their community with me. And I don't know. It all just felt weird. And I considered like turning on memberships on YouTube, but it felt weird since I don't live stream there and the benefits outside of live streaming are not very clear cut. Like you can do emotes, but I've never, it's supposedly 
you can use membership emotes in YouTube comments, but I feel like I've never seen that. So is that actually true or is it like janky to use or? I don't know. Long story short, I think Twitch is better for streaming. It's not perfect. Like it's far from perfect, but I mean, I, I pretty much made my decision and I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. That that's maybe that's actually a really good word for it. Like streaming culture. It's, it's live YouTube. It's not, it doesn't feel like live streaming. And then, I mean, of course, then if we're going to go there too, and I know I've had BRB up for like several minutes and I'm still here and I haven't gone anywhere, but I will go somewhere in a minute. Facebook. I've never even watched a stream on Facebook. Like if you want to talk about weird, like watching a live stream on Facebook would feel the weirdest to me. Maybe just cause I've never done it, but like who is streaming on Facebook? I've never used Dip Powder Gidge. I don't know. I mean, Dip Powder has its own drawbacks, especially if you are not patient enough to uh, remove it properly. I mean, Dip Powder is basically just like granulated acrylics. Um, yeah, except it's not though, Izzy. Like they, there's Facebook gaming streams and it's, like everything I've heard about it, maybe I shouldn't make my own assumptions without having watched it. Like, is that it's weird. Insta live. There's so many things on Instagram that I just literally am like stories, reels, other weird shit. I don't know. I post pictures on Instagram. I'm a boomer. Excuse me. Facebook has the biggest trolls. Yeah. Doesn't strengthen. Yeah. I mean, most things that you put on your nails are not going to strengthen your nails. They're just going to add a layer of strength. There are some exceptions that are, you know, more intended to like, um, like soak in and actually improve your actual nail. But like, if you want to actually improve your actual nail, in most cases, you're going to need like a supplement or something. Um, like biotin, which is not for everybody because some people have a uh, negative, negative uh, side effects from biotin. I mean, being flexible can be a good thing, Gidge. You don't want your nails to be hard and brittle. Hard, brittle nails crack and break. You know, you don't want them to be too flexible either. But like, just like off the top of my head, I would say that flexible is better than brittle. You want your nails to be able to, you know, withstand a little bit of flexing without just instantly ping, chipping or cracking or breaking. Like, like, uh, a lot of my breaks are from when, like, my more curved nails, like, you could see this nail's fairly flat. This nail is more curved. And when it bends, that's when I tend to get the little micro breaks on the side. Don't, no, don't bend them on purpose, Gidge. No, it's not what I'm telling you. I'm just saying, if they bend, they are less likely to break. <laughs> But don't sit around just like, doo -doo -doo -doo. like, don't, no, don't, no, <laughs> just it makes me cringe. All right. Also hair. I don't know if that was visible on camera or not. I apologize. I'm going to actually take my break now. Yeah. I mean, not, not necessarily jaded, but it, it, it's more likely than if you just leave them alone. Also, long nails aren't for everybody. Like your nails may not be able to live up to your length expectations. I had to come to that realization and learn to deal with shorter nails. Too late. Okay, Gidge, you knew I was not going to approve of this. I'm, I'm fairly sure you heard me 
before you did it and then you just did it and then said too late you want long nails to be for me i mean in some cases if you want long nails you're gonna need to have artificial nails that's just you know some people like long nails some like mark of pride um you know whether it's due to you know well i don't want to say not growing because all nails grow but like if it's due to breaking or bending or whatever like not everybody can grow long nails hey is lat cat yes indeed mr baney sometimes sometimes he gives us his love and attention mr mr baney yes hello you so handsome you such a nice boy he's like yeah i know did you put it in discord gidge oh wait what's this oh that's cute sorry distracted by other things no i'm not watching it i'm not watching it gidge if anybody else wants to watch it it's in discord well i'll take my well i'll take my little short break hi mr bane these pets are from red Yes, who's such a nice boy? Yeah, you are. You are a nice boy. Oh, get that chin scritch. <laughs> you can't tell me that you didn't know that I was going to yell at you for that though, Gidge. So, don't don't try to put this on on me yelling at you out of the blue when you knew that that was wrong t4 thank you for the more beanie pets yeah you're so handsome everybody loves you they spend all their points on you make sure beanie gets lots of pets because he's so handsome and nice yeah (laughs) all right you guys cuticle scrub potty break and then one of these combos tbd (sighs) i i haven't made any further decision while we've been sitting here getting sidetracked (laughs) yeah and okay so it's not to say that things that you put on your nails that add strength to your nails are bad, but they're not going to make your nail stronger. They're going to, how, how do I even want to put it? Your actual nail won't be stronger, but it will be protected. Mm. Yeah, well, bending will do that. What you really probably want is a, is a nail polish that's more flexible, Gidge. sorry also i have i have a rough spot here on the corner of this nail and i thought i got it and then i keep feeling it and then actually maybe that's better it's it's where the it's where the uh the gel is just a little uneven there okay actually literally taking a break now you guys so is Beanie apparently okay Gidge when you start taking biotin it starts here if you've been taking it for three months it's probably grown out to about here maybe not even that far you're gonna need like another three months at minimum before the nail at the tip of your nail is nail that has biotin like grown out with it the whole time bio like bi- biotin ain't doing shit for this part of your nail i don't even know that it really does much for this part of your nail because that's already like nail that's grown the nail that grows out has to grow out with the biotin you have to keep it consistent and and you can't like if biotin solves your nail problems you don't then just get to stop taking biotin it's it's a supplement um yeah 
So if you just take biotin long enough for your nails to get nice and then you're like, okay. And then your nails will start growing out without biotin and then all of a sudden your nails are shit again. If biotin works for you, you got to keep taking it to have it keep working. But yeah, three months is, is not a long time in the world of biotin. We were talking about that earlier because I had my problems last year whether I thought the uh, the weak section had finally grown out, and I think it probably has, or if it's not, it's close to. But yeah, biotin is not a quick fix. It's like it's like your hair. Think about your hair. If you take something to get your hair to grow more, sorry, I'm just kidding. um, and then stop taking it, then your hair's not going to continue like growing as healthy as it was. It's going to go back to growing like shit. Your nails are the same. It has to grow out with the supplement to uh, to have the full advantages. It's not an instant fix. Anyway, for the 18th time, I'm going to take a break. And then we're going to have pretty colors when I return. I appreciate you guys' patience.
sorry. Camera shaking. Oh. Yeah, biotin plus keratin is actually the combo that I take. I just get it from Target. It's also, like, it's sold in, like, a bunch of different doses. It's basically water-soluble, so if you take too much, your body just flushes it, so to speak. Um, okay. Your loss. Your loss, weirdo Canadians. Mmm. I think <laughs> Target is good. Target is uh Hi. Welcome back, sir. Target is honestly one of my favorite stores. I mean, what do you guys even have up there? Just Walmart? What do you do now that you won't go to Walmart, Gidge? this one or this one or oh gosh I'm trying to draw an arrow right here this one or this one that's what I'm thinking I've I've mentally narrowed it down to those four shit five I really like the blue and the blue also Superstore? What is a superstore? It's called, it's just called Superstore? Wait, No Frills is a store too? I've never heard of these stores. Your Target sucks? That's so unfortunate. I, I love me some Target. Dude, I, I love Target. Also, I have like five Targets within reasonably the same amount of distance. So I don't have one that I consider like my Target. Real Canadian Superstore TM. Your Dollar Tree sucks too, dude. I've, I, you know, it's been, whoa. It's been a very long time since I've, uh, had any Dollar Tree escapades, but I love Dollar Tree. I used to get so much good nail polish there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mm. Yeah, I don't have any that's like that close. But they're all around probably 15 or 20 minutes. Like there's one in Crystal, there's one in Fridley, there's one in Hopkins, there's one in Plymouth. Mm. I feel like I'm forgetting another one that's relatively close that I go to sometimes. Depend see, depending on what other errands I need to run. Right? If we're going, you know, to buy cupcakes, that's one target. If we're gonna go, you know, somewhere else, maybe that's a different target. Magenta blue greater than the blue blue, greater than the purple blue, greater than the green green, greater than the green blue. So you're saying your order red is one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> whiskey I don't know if I've ever tasted whiskey other than that one maple syrup whiskey that uh, Total Wine had on sample that one day we're gonna label these you guys okay and I'm gonna have you guys vote Oh, 
I didn't label them in a way that you could read them. Hello? Can, can you just stay? No, don't slide. I want it to stay at an angle where you can see all the things that I want you to see, but it's kind of being... It keeps what? Okay, you know what? Let's just adjust the camera. Still can't quite see the green very well. Well, you guys have been looking at them for Knobs Creek. I don't remember the name, Gidge, but I don't think that was it. Um, I'm just interested what you guys think. Mm, two minute poll. Let me know which one is your favorite. One, magenta plus blue. Two, lavender plus blue. Three, blue plus blue. Four, blue plus green. Or five, green plus green. What is... Oh. Are those the only two flavors it comes in? Just generic white and generic red? That's not fancy enough. I only like fancy wine. <laughs> also, okay. Don't, don't look in my DMs while I'm streaming distractions but you don't like any of those son or was that in regards to something else four is winning what is four blue and green nobody voting for the blue and blue y'all is it too subtle for you blue and blue is so good oh they're all good they're all good. Hey, Tahiti, hello. Well, I mean, it doesn't even say what kind of wine it is because there's lots of different kinds of wine. Like beyond just red and white. Like there's lots of different kinds of reds and whites. Oh, you like the gold and none were the gold. Yeah. The gold is good but I don't want to wear it today. I like the magenta and gold, I think, and the green and gold, best of the gold ones. Number four, the blue and the green. Really? I'm a circle, number four so that once I'm done with my base coat and stuff, and I'm like, oh, what did chat vote for? I can remember. It really doesn't want to let me circle this because it's nail polish on all sides of it, but I'll remember. Purple green was not a choice, I'm sorry. Lorca, 30 months, 30 months. Lorca, thank you so much for the prime sub and for the 30 months of support. No, I like the purple green, but no, that's not that's not happening today. One of those I'm I'm not saying I'm necessarily going with four either. I just was curious. Grape juice with alcohol and food coloring. Like one of my favorite wines is like a blackberry merlot. Which I guess would technically be a red, even though it's not like red, it's like it's purple. Um, but like I like I wouldn't even fuck with a plain red or a plain white like it needs to have some more descriptives barefoot barefoot's okay I mean I'm not saying expensive wine to be clear the blackberry merlot that I like is arbor mist and if y'all know arbor mist you know that's kind of like cheap shit will wine water marble you know I feel like Christine tested this. I know they did beer. I look really tired, don't I? I should have put on some eye makeup. I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly red. 
Sometimes I do put it on chat when I can't make up my mind. I might go with that. Or I might not. We'll have to see. What is on this Q-tip? I don't like it. I'm getting a different one. Uh, but we got to get a base coat on first. So, as usual, I am drying everything out with acetone. Make sure the nails are super clean, super dry. There's no soap residue. There's no sugar scrub residue anywhere. And I'm just going to apply this as though I'm going to have it on for two weeks, although I don't know that I'll keep it on that long. I think taking breaks a little bit in between nail art is helping to keep me from getting burnt out and also to keep from feeling like I'm getting even further behind because I still haven't cleared all of the backlog manicures from like earlier this year and last year. So I think I'll probably keep this on at least a week, maybe a little bit longer. Try and get at least another one of the backlog tutorials put up. And maybe one of the backlog color therapy streams put up. Like, I've still got, I think, over a dozen unedited tutorials and probably twice that many, uh, like, plain manicure streams to post. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. I don't, I don't know about that. I do feel like, I mean, I feel like even when I'm pretty awake, I look much more tired if I don't put on some eyeliner. I mean, to be clear, I'm not, I'm not a super makeup-y person. Never have been, and I'm even less so in my, in my increasing age. <laughs> Like, I, I rarely fuck around. I think the last time I fucked around with eyeshadow was when I did a little bit of uh, coordinating uh, eye makeup for my, my Halloween quote-unquote costume stream. Um, that little bit of whiteness is the gel. Sometimes it just gets weird with acetone. And sometimes you can, like, get it to clean off, and sometimes you cannot. I am going to be using Holo Taco Long Lasting Base. I mean, I don't know if the, the liquid actually... Well, no, that's not true. The liquid should make a difference in water marbling. Because, like, different liquids have different densities, right? Alcohol's lighter than water, and then water. No, alcohol's heavier than water, and then water, and then oil's lighter than water. I mean, you wouldn't want to, like, I, I think water's the best because it doesn't have, surprise, doesn't have anything added to it. So you don't have to worry about a contamination that will interfere with the polish spreading or sticking to your nails. Like if you think about it, because oil, no, oil's, oil's lighter than water. If you were to use something heavier than water, so what, like straight up alcohol? Technically that should make it easier for the nail polish to float, right? If, if what you're marbling in is heavier. But if you used anything too weird, it could mess with the polish to the point where it doesn't want to spread or it doesn't want to let you draw um like draw a pattern in it now i'm now i'm curious like i've never like done an experiment like that like let's see if vodka water marbles i mean i want to drink my vodka <laughs> yeah exactly i can't talk while doing my eyeliner this is taking all of my attention and then some i enjoy makeup i just I don't know. I guess I don't have time for it on. It's like it's it's not enough of a payout. If makeup was like nail polish and I could do it and be good for at least several days, sure, maybe I'd do some makeup. But like 
do some makeup and it's just there for like a couple hours and then you gotta wash your face and go to bed mm, not so much also I am like doing the super wrap which includes the full underside of my nails just cause when I don't use a peely base I pretty much always do that now because it increases the wear so much I found compared to just uh, regular tip wrapping So we'll be doing the underside for the base coat as well as for the top coat, as well as tip wrapping. I mean, vodka depends. I mean, there are very expensive vodkas out there and there are like pretty cheap vodkas out there. Like the vodka that I buy is like, I think pretty middle of the ground middle of the ground middle of the field middle of the road middle of the middle of the prices is what i'm trying to say sveka is that how you pronounce it um the kind i have right now is blue raspberry flavored if you're curious should i should tomorrow be a tipsy stream i hadn't really considered that it's like dead in the middle of the week <laughs> I really don't know what tomorrow's stream is going to be like, though. Polish science stream for science. Yeah. Yeah, but the little bottles. I mean, you'd need at least five ounces, right? To, to do a water marble cup worth. The little bottles are not a good deal. Little bottles are only good if you, like, have a recipe that calls for it and you just, for whatever reason, don't want a whole bottle of whatever around. What's wrong with my face? Wow. Wow. Is that why they're your XPF? <laughs> or did they do something else? Like, that's so rude. Yeah, I've never done, like, super full makeup, like, foundation and stuff. Like, I used to do more like eye makeup but beyond that and even like lipstick too like lipstick takes upkeep like I'm not trying to be thinking about that all day even though like I love lipstick like I actually I actually do like lipstick I just I'm lazy I guess <laughs> I mean, I could sit and spend a couple hours on a manicure, so maybe lazy isn't the word, but like I said, manicures last. Even with a peel-off base coat, a manicure is going to last several days. Oh, pull a little right thumb. You are very difficult to wrap still at this tiny, tiny length. Oh, boyfriend, not best friend. I was thinking BF as best friend. Dude, GG on kicking him to the curb, even though I'm sure that was like a while ago, but like, fuck that. Um. Hmm. Every time I'm about to say, it's down two, and then like name two of them, I'm like, but oh, what about that one and that one? I mean, this may just be a situation where we just have our next several plain manicures figured out, right? Like whatever I don't pick now, I'll probably wear later. I think it's down to okay I'm actually gonna oh, I was gonna say I was actually gonna name two but then I was like but what about that one what about that one I really really I like the magenta with the blue better than I thought I would um I like the purple with the blue because of course I do I like the blue with the blue and the green with the green because of course I do and I like the blue with the green obviously also 
Mm. Yeah, I mean, I usually just, you know, a little bit of, little bit of lip balm. I don't want my lips being crusty. But... <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm sitting here trying to imagine what I'd look like right now with lipstick on, of course. Brows only and lipstick only, I don't know. Get rid of stupid people is the life lesson. That sounds like an excellent life lesson. <laughs> Handles. <laughs> you like the magenta? Yeah. Quite similar to your username, Dino. Sorry, I'm getting like off center here. <sighs> then I start going like deeply into it. Like maybe I should do the green and green because it's spring and that's very springy. But then would also the blue and blue or the blue and green fit into spring? Or maybe I should do the purple and the blue because the lilacs are about to bloom. And that would make for a good photo op. Ooh, that that's actually true though, huh? Is that lilac purple? I mean, not exactly, but kind of. The magenta and the blue actually would be really cute for a lilac photo shoot too. Oh, you guys. Mm. <laughs> Son, you do something with the gold. I'm de like the gold is cute, but I'm definitely not doing any of It's one of the ones with an arrow. I don't dislike any of these, but it's definitely one of the ones with an arrow. I kind of want to say it's between the magenta and blue and the blue and the green. Oh, that green and green too, though. <laughs> so many good choices. Oh. And this, I mean, mind, keep keep in mind, this is without even bringing the other unicorn skins into this conversation. Like, uh, Aurora over the, the, the magenta, the purple, or the blue would be really good. Uh, Solar would also probably be good. And, uh, shit, what is the other third old one? Aurora, Solar. Am I losing my mind? Aurora. Cosmic. Dude, Cosmic would look really okay. We're we're not okay. Let's let's not add to my problems. Let's not no th no. Thank you, Izzy. Dino, no. We're... Aurora is purple. What do you mean plus purple? Another purple flingy? <laughs> no, we're gonna pick one of these. Okay, what do I... I'm using my imagination right now, you guys. I'm, I'm picturing... I mean, my brain is just like, do purple, because of course do purple. But also... Wait, where'd the purple go? Here it is. They're so pretty. I mean, if I were just to look at these on their own, of which I would pick, it would probably be the blue or the purple, even though the green and the magenta are very nice. And then, I mean, purple is like always what I go to, but blue, you know, okay, blue, but blue and blue or blue and green? Like, I really like the blue and blue. 
really like the blue and green too and you guys really like the blue and green should I just go with chat's vote ooh accent no no we're not doing accent nails <laughs> we could just do one of each <laughs> boring son how can you call flakies boring they're more subtle but boring no subtle yes and i i mean you guys know i like subtle okay we're going with the blue but i don't know what we're putting on top of it yet don't like them over color I mean, they're they're fantastic over black, but I love flakies over color. <laughs> I enjoy subtle. Screw subtle. Wait, Dino enjoys subtle. Dino, are you are you sure you're Dino? I I don't know if that jives with what I know of Dino. All right. What is that little hair? Get out of there. Uh, we will be wrapping the tips with color and the sides, but not the underside. That'll save until the top coat. <laughs> but we're talking about my choice. All right, we'll see. Maybe once I have the blue on my nails, it will speak to me and tell me what it would like to have on top of it. Um, do I have, yeah. Try not to make too much of a mess here. And then once I finish this, I'll be able to find dinner. And by find, I mean cook, but by find, I also mean decide what to cook. Last night, I just went with the quesadilla, which is fairly easy, and I could do it again, but I don't really feel like I want the same thing two nights in a row. Just one coat. I'm getting that hollow flare. Oh, it's good. Um Yes, I mean, ooh, hello. Any base coat is good for staining. Peely base is not super anti-staining. Um, I have seen like so you can layer like peely base is your start and then something else on top dang it i looked i looked away before or i didn't look before oh it's math math how was your rando the rest of your rando how 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 you know the real questions math how was the rest of your dick conversation <laughs> ready hey dapper hello mika other blue everybody cheese connor mayo yeah math had an awful lot of dick conversation going on <laughs> vaginas and then pirates yeah no i i heard the pirates comment math i almost i was like i was i was just finishing getting ready i was like man Somebody really needs to clip that out of context. I mean, there was a variety of of educational dick related material being shared on twitch.tv slash Mathulu. Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Mika, it was at the beginning. It was like quite close to the beginning, I think. Yeah, very many, yeah, terrible animal dick facts. <laughs> D 
duck duck dicks hyena dicks kangaroo dicks snake dicks all the dicks that the animal kingdom has to offer flags i missed the flag conversation ready yeah no there's there's a wide variety of unique and creative dicks in in the animal kingdom (laughs) oh god but i hope the rando went well too did you just do the one or did you do another one i know i've uh your animal fact was about bats so also like just as i was leaving like i didn't announce i was leaving but i heard i i think spooky said something again about scooby-doo movies and math 100 percent called me out he was like i was like i i had my phone in my pocket because i was like downstairs getting some water and i heard at colette mslp and i'm like wait a minute what math is calling me out super real Proportionally speaking, barnacles have the largest dicks in the animal kingdom. See, continued animal dick facts. Ducks are the ones with the with the corkscrew penises, right? <laughs> Sharks have two. Oh, you did two? Those must have been pretty quick. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I I think the Echidna dick conversation was before I showed up in chat. Like, I showed up and the dick conversation was already in full swing. (laughs) And I was like, I just stopped in here and I... It's like, I didn't know what to say. Like, what? (laughs) But, um, yeah, hi, welcome on in, everybody. I am Colette. I am a, a nail artist and a variety streamer. And a fully vaccinated human being. Um, we ranted about that for a while too. But yeah, we do a little bit of a little bit of color therapy here from time to time. Well, a little bit or a lot of it, as this stream is going on three hours. Um, and quite a bit of Hollow Knight from time to time. <laughs> Wait, well, how is it pronounced? A kid? Well, how else is how do you pronounce it then? I'm going, uh, what is the, uh, oh God, what is the word? When you just say the letters, phonetically, I'm going phonetically. How else the fuck do you pronounce it? A button? Okay, butt spot, that's wrong. <laughs> echidna, not echidna. 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 I don't know, dude. The only, okay, the only echidna I know is Knuckles, okay? I don't even know what a real life echidna looks like. Other than apparently they have scary penises. (laughs) A button sounds correct, what do you mean? Mm. Yeah, the Knuckles animal. I mean, I'm assuming they don't actually look like knuckles with like dreadlocks on their head or whatever those are supposed to be. (laughs) I'm showing my ignorance, but that's okay. Never be afraid to learn, boys and girls. (laughs) I mean, at your own risk, I believe, Brooke. (laughs) Like a porcupine, but also an anteater? Like, that's quite a combination. (laughs) Brooke, no. (laughs) Other Blue is trying to protect you. Um, But yeah, definitely welcome on in, everybody. We are starting out with a base of hollow... You know, I'm sure a lot of you have places to be. But before you go... Plus, you know, I, I know math likes this. Thanks for the raid math. Here. Have some fucking rainbows in your face. Oh, God, y'all, that's just one coat. We ain't even put on the second coat yet. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Wait. GH like tough. It's like a foof. Oh, like woman. Footin'. Fody? 
dapper i can't like that's too many that's too many instructions for pronunciation i can't i'm too tired i only i only have enough brain cells to bring rainbows into your well i was gonna say your living room but it probably lots of you guys aren't in your living room i'm only got enough brain cells to bring rainbows to whatever your current viewing uh, location is um anyway yes if you are if you've ever heard the term holographic and you are like what does that mean it means rainbows like this that move and shimmer and sparkle at the differing light angles not the hollow like hollow night the hollow like this kind of hollow um I'm, i derailed my own train of thought so i apologize i don't i don't know what i was about to say um oh you are in the living room okay that's good <laughs> rainbows in the classroom yeah snuggled in bed yes without the second l or w ever like i was actually you guys last night i added captions to one of my videos which i haven't done in a long time but I was pretty pleased with how the automatic captions, like I start with the automatic ones and I edited them. Like, apparently YouTube voice is really spot on for uh, voice recognition, but every hollow was the wrong hollow. Snuggled up in bed, gang, let's go. I would, I would kind of like to snuggle up in bed, except I also haven't eaten any food, so I probably should do that before I go to bed. I, uh, I have been very lucky to have very minimal symptoms from my second do do dose of the shot. Um, I'm kind of sleepy, but I'm also always kind of sleepy. So I hesitate to, to even blame that on the vaccine. And haven't had any fever or anything like that. So that's been nice. Um, and we ranted about that for a little while at the beginning of stream. Not not as entertaining as the dicks content on Mathulu stream, but uh, but spot. <laughs> yes, it is Ray Ray, uh, sparkling water. Which like even under the ring light, you get quite a like a hollow shimmer at certain angles. You can see it in there. And we are so I haven't fully decided. We did some swatches, just like some quick swatches of a couple of the different hollows with a couple of the different flakies on top. I'm either doing the blue with the blue flaky on top or the blue with the green flaky on top. Chat voted for the green. I really like the blue. I mean, I, I like all of these to be clear, but I don't want to, I was going to say I can't wear multiple things on my nails, but I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to wear multiple things on my nails. Mild joint aches. Yeah. I was gonna say my joints always hurt so i haven't noticed them hurting worse laid you off for almost a week oof yeah i'm hoping like i'm at this point i'm i'm getting pretty close to 36 hours past so um <laughs> dude i mean getting taken out of context is part of my brand right <laughs> Um, I'm hoping that if it was going to hit me, it would have hit me by now. And I'm feeling pretty grateful that it did not because I want to be able to give you guys some good content tomorrow. You vote green tree theory. Why not both? I don't want, I don't want to do, do you mean like a, like a gradient or you mean like accent nails? I don't want to do an accent nail. The last time I did accent nails, I didn't dislike it, but I was never quite happy with the manicure. Like, I like my nails to, to match. I do know that about myself. When we did the, uh, the day and night versions for Christmas, I kind of had the same problem when my hands weren't matching. Like it was a subtle, a subtle annoyance for me the whole time. felt 90 the day after your second yeah a lot of people have a okay <laughs> oh layered them Ac actually both 
Oh, Ray Ray is like gore brain. You mods, enjoy your lurk. Ray Ray. How did we not consider both, you guys? How did we not consider layering the flakies? Well, I don't know. Maybe you guys did consider it and even probably tried to tell me about it, but I was distracted and didn't see. Wow. Ray Ray. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yours is like a vertical gradient, though, son. That's like matching in its own way. I mean, that's not the same as like an accent nail, in my mind. In my kingdom. Like, that's a different, like, that's a, that's just a design that happens to go over more than one nail. And blue with the actual gore brain emo. Thank you, blue. I mean, not necessarily. So the thing with the flakies is like you can glom them on and I in many cases do tend to glom them on but you don't have to glom them on like you can apply uh, a slightly more restrained sparse layer than I usually do hmm hmm <laughs> wait Dino is saying that it wouldn't be too much You have no idea. You don't need to know, Dapper. All you need to know is that it's colorful and colors are good. It's just it's just good, beautiful, colorful things to make your brain produce the good juice and some little mellow music to maybe put you to sleep, and also our little our little mascot. Well, I guess Paulette is our mascot. What does that make Beanie? Our little, uh, our little lump. <laughs> That's Beanie, if anybody's not met Beanie before. Oh, J.H., I know it. I do. I actually, that does make sense to me. Mm. Hey, blue with a Beanie pet and a treat. Yeah, nice boy. Yeah, yeah, I'm touching you. Is this loud? <laughs> I'll get the treat after I finish this hand. He's a very good bane. We shall we shall have to attempt the the wet nails treat giving. It should be okay though. I just need to be aware that my nails are wet. Um Oh no worries. No worries. I know how to handle it. I just need to remember not to like reach inside the bag. That's the only like uh the only thing. Well, and I can't hand feed it to Bean. But I wouldn't be able to do that even after my nails are dry for like a while. Cuz even once they're dry, like you guys know how fresh nails aren't fully fully dry for like a while even if you use a quick dry top coat. Beanie is not a fan of that smell but I can I mean if I was smart I would have prepped a treat before I started my nails also beanie hair attached there um, sometimes I remember to do that and then I just have some treats on my desk to grab for him which then sometimes he's like hey I see those treats on your desk I would like to climb on your desk This is such a nice blue. All right. Carefully. All right. I'm not even gonna try and finish closing that because I can do that later. Mr. Beanie, you want a treat? Here you go. There you go, treat for me. Nom nom nom. 
The baby hands. I should. I don't have a pair up here. Just <laughs> laying around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the pack had like six baby hands in it. So for those of you who don't know, um, because like when I got my new controller, it's a PS5 controller, so it's a white controller. And then like shortly after that, I had like Cheetos as a snack during stream. And I was like... Like, I don't want Cheeto fingers on the white controller. And then I was like, you know what I could do is I could, like, DIY some fake chopsticks because I couldn't find any real chopsticks in the house. And then I was like, I should actually buy some chopsticks. And then I was somebody. Ray, Ray, was it you? You were like, ooh, or snack tongs. Okay, that's even better, though. Like, one coat was really good. But actually... on the second coat dude that hits a little different oh y'all <laughs> oh what little cat paws tahiti that sounds like a that sounds like one of those ideas that you wish you knew like who can i just sell this idea to All right, so I'm just going to take like these are already pretty thick application. So on the nail, I could do like a lighter application, but do we want to do blue over green or green over blue? Will it really make a difference? I don't know if you guys can even see that. Like, which is most noticeable? Or which is the nicest noticeable? I think... I really didn't get very many green flakies on there. Let me add just a little bit more so I can make a make a decision here. I think I like the green with the blue on top. The blue with the green on top is good too though. I mean they are pretty crowded. We're still looking at like three and four. Like where's my orange stick? This is blue with green on top. This is green with blue on top. I think I like the blue with the green on top. Mm, don't think about it too much. Just do it. Just do it. All right, son. I hope you rest well. Have a good rest of your week. Mm, blue then green. Actually, should I clean up my edges first? No, I'll do that once I'm done. All right, so my main problem when I apply flakies is using a really heavy hand with the flakies. The blue just on uh, just on its own. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, it's honestly so good. Even under the ring light, you get the hollow. Like obviously not as intense as with the flashlight. but I need more. So what we're gonna do is carefully not glom. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Trying to not overlap the strokes too much. Okay. That's a that's a decent amount of flakies. The application is key. 
Like, you see how many are left on the stem still. Like, uh, Nani, thank you for the host. If I wanted a heavier coverage, I would take that and, like, do some additional dabbing. Or do, like, a thicker coat in the first place. But I want a, a somewhat sparse. Sparse, but still even. Right? Which, with flakies, means you may need to look at a couple different angles. This is going to be so cute. I'll do a, I'll do a flashlight time once I finish my next hand too. Nani, it is uh, sparkling water with Sonic and then we're going to put Galactic on top also. Hollow Taco, of course. Well, not necessarily, of course. I have dozens of brands, but... Lately, I've been super, super hooked on the pastels. <laughs> Math, I mean, like, it can be a challenge. It, like, honestly can. Or, like, if you're driving and, like, you stop at a light and you just happen to have, like, sunshine coming in your window... Which is basically like, you know, nature's flashlight time. Um, and then you start looking at your nails instead of looking at the, at the light. And then you miss when the light changes. And then you have somebody behind you honk at you. <gasps> what did I do? No! <laughs> what did I do? okay we'll fix that in a minute it's fine this is all fine mostly mm. huh, blue it's kind of funny you say that because these these are my short nails we cut off probably what more than half the free edge at the start of stream that's kind of heavy um so yeah, these these are my short nails. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mika, that is literally why my YouTube channel is my simple little pleasures. Because everything else can go to shit. But guess what? If you have something cute on your nails, you can just look at them and enjoy them at any point. All right, I'm just going to try to I might need another coat to fully cover that up. Which I can still see it there. Also Lashby, hello. No, it really is. It'll be fine. If that's all that happens before we make it to top coat, we're doing well. There. That's better. All right, the gouge is gone. We'll let that dry a little bit more and then we'll reapply um some of the blue. And then we'll move on with the green. In fact, I probably could already move on with the green, but I'd like to get this. Also, just going by this, the blue and the blue would have been awesome because I would have layered on the flakies even heavier. You know what we can do while we wait for this to dry a little bit? Flashlight time. Not nature's flashlight time, but uh, flashlight time. You can't even barely tell the flakies. The hollow. So we were talking about is is the, are the flakies gonna like dull the hollow? No, they're not. They can't. Where even are the flakies? The flakies are apparently to make this interesting in low light, because in in direct light they're still just hollow. <laughs> 
Oh my god. I can actually, like in person, I can pick up the more distinct blue glimmers in certain like spots, but man, the hollow is just too strong. See Dapper? The subtle, the subtle blue flakies. <laughs> All right. There. Now that side. Look, you like it, like it never even happened, y'all. It's fine. It's never a disaster. And guess what? If it hadn't been fine, I mean, we could just start over with that nail and do it again. Because it's only... It's only uh, nail polish. So now, we're going to layer the green on top of that. Like, there's actually a lot of blue flakies on there. They're actually slightly easier to see. I have the autofocus turned off, so we're not in super good focus. But it actually works for the flakies. Pup time dropping a beanie. I'm so, I'm so jealous that Pup Time comes and visits math. I want Pup Time to come visit me. I love Pup Time. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh Nate gifted Pup Time a sub again and I was wondering if I was going to have to like go let him know that he, that another sub had been gifted, but then like literally the next day like it was dropping beanies again. So, yeah. So good. I, I love seeing Pup Time drop a beanie. And I am going slightly heavier with the green than I did with the blue. Like, I think the blue adds a little something, but I really am digging this green. It's still not, like, too heavy, though. Like, I want to still be able to see the blue peeking out, too. <gasps> That's so good, though. But, like, actually, we could even... We could peek right now. Make sure that I'm not overdoing it. Luke! Hi, Luke. Luke, we've got rainbows. Yeah, look at that. Even with the green, like the the absolute, like, OP-ness of the hollow in the direct lighting is still, which, you know, is actually kind of nice. Like, I remember, I think it was on one of my, one of my videos where people were saying how hollows are almost a little bit boring in indirect light. But, like, you can't call that boring, and yet you still get all of the hollow goodness in direct light. Yeah, Dapper, there's a... There may or may not be a clip of me saying that that does not include the O. <laughs> does your lady friend like rainbows, Luke? Get her, get her hollow taco. Yeah, yeah, Nutty. I tested, I don't know if you saw, maybe not. I tested all three of the new ones over four of the pastels. Well, the blue, these are no longer pure. This, these, this was blue, green, gold, but now this is blue with green on top and that's green with blue on top, but we tested them over the other ones too. I love, I, I almost want to say I love the new unicorn skins better than the old unicorn skins, except if I were to get the old unicorn skins out, I would fall right back in love with them. But I really, really love the new unicorn skins. <laughs> so other blue, one of my, well, one of my things is I, I change my nails a lot. A lot of times, especially when I'm doing nail art, I actually use a peel off base coat because I'll do like two manicures a week. In this case, since I'm wearing it a little bit longer, I'm using uh, a sticky base coat. In this case, Holo Taco Long Lasting Base. 
And what I do with it is in addition to like doing the nail and wrapping the tips or like the edges is I also continue the wrap on the underside of the nail, which can be a little difficult if your nails are shorter. But basically like if you only just paint the top of your nails and don't even wrap the tips, let alone the underside, like the edge of the polish is where a chip is gonna start, right? So if you wrap your tips and make it so that the edge of the polish is slightly on the underside, then that's more protective than if the edge of the polish is just straight up at the edge of your nail. Well, I'm sure she, no. <laughs> I'm sure she's nice in other ways. No, I'm only teasing. You don't have to do your nails. I'm, I'm not a nail uh, judge and jury. Maybe she likes rainbows and other aspects of her life. I mean, I hope she at least likes rainbows because if somebody doesn't like rainbows, I think they're a little bit sus. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk, Nani. Yeah, we were, we were talking about the pastels too because they're all really good. And I use those for my last manicure. I don't know if you got to see these, Nutty. I did uh, the one with the arrow using both the rainbow collections. Oh, dude, they're so good. Wrap your tips for more protection. Yeah, this advice could be used in many aspects of life, including the previous penis conversations. Wrap your tips, everyone. Wrapping your tips is for boys and girls. <laughs> mm. When Battery did his nails, I almost was like, wait, Battery, wrap your tips. But I was like, okay, I don't want to overwhelm them. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, really? I don't know that I'm, of course, I'm not on Facebook, even if I was in that group. But that's great. I know, like, a lot of people have really loved it. Christine retweeted it, which, of course, is always, like, fucking a fangirl moment. And then get a whole bunch more activity than I'm used to on Twitter. Do this blue and green layered together. So here's just the blue. Shimmery, cool. Then we have the blue and the green. I think that was the right call. <laughs> you know, creams are really nice too. Glitter, I love... Although, like, I don't want to say glitter is my least favorite finish because I don't know if that's exactly accurate, but like when I think about things that are my favorite, like hollow and unicorn skin definitely go above glitter, but glitter is really nice too. Yeah, wrapping tips is so hard on short nails. That, I guess that's like one of my length guidelines like if my nails are so short that the tips are hard to wrap that's when I kind of start to feel weird about them like this length is pretty short for me hello beanie hair but I can still pretty comfortably wrap the tips beanie hair please am I gonna need a tweezer for this yes Hold on. Oh, it's two beanie hairs. Great. Can you guys? No, it's too fine for you guys even to see. All right. Finish wrapping the tip on this. Then we'll do a little bit of cleanup and then we'll do top coat. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I just like, there's nothing bad about rainbows. Like, how could you not love rainbows? Like, I've never looked at a rainbow, like, on my nails or in real life and not, like, felt joy. Ah, contacts. Not a struggle that I personally know, but that does sound reasonable. Although I've seen, like, I've seen, like, YouTubers and stuff with, like, very long nails, and they, like, use, like, like, that part of their finger 
like in their eyeball like the the you know what do you know what i mean like reaching in like i i can't imagine touching my my eyeball even if i had no nails so aside from the fact that my eye doctor said with as much astigmatism as i have i'll never see as well with contacts as with glasses (laughs) didn't want to be that creeper dude dude go for it luke luke like well i don't know maybe maybe it is different for dudes i was gonna say a compliment is always nice but i guess like sometimes from a dude it could like i don't think you're a creepy dude luke plus you don't look like an old man old man creeper yeah exactly dapper like some people may be more into rainbows but you get used to touching your eyeball I don't think I want to get used to touching my eyeball dino (laughs) oh my god like I love your nails I don't I think too it's it's more more acceptable and less surprising if dudes do notice or are into nail polish themselves. Like Battery said when he was out after he did his nails that he had somebody compliment him and he like told him to go check out my YouTube, told him to go buy Hollow Taco, like he was he was on the advertising uh what do I want to say like on point with the advertising. Yeah, I like when I was a kid, I don't think contacts were even an option, both like pricing wise and due to my astigmatism. And like now they do make they do make contacts that will work with astigmatism. But like, I don't know. I don't know why they're not as good as glasses, but it's okay because I don't like as a kid, I would have like I hated my glasses. I hated, you know, the way I looked in glasses and all that. And I would have you know, enthusiastically learned how to touch my eyeball, but it wasn't an option. And now I'm old lady and I don't want to touch my eyeball. So yeah. (laughs) I know contacts have been around for greater than a hundred years, but like when I was a kid, I don't think they were like for astigmatism to have contacts, I think you had to have hard contacts when I was a kid. Like the kind that are like not flexible at all. But plus also like they were much more expensive and shit barely, my family could barely afford me glasses when I was a kid, let alone contacts. Mm. Also, I'm glad your lady friend knows about my nails, Luke. Cause that means that you, that well that probably means that you told her and I always like, feel flattered when people tell people about my nails thank you like somehow this all still just feels like a little hobby even though it's kind of my job I mean not kind of it like is my job (laughs) but it's always still like oh I don't know you told people you told people about my thing and that's sweet Yeah, as long as they didn't follow it up with anything sus, yeah. And I could think of so many sus things to inject there. But yeah, as long as you're like, you know, (laughs) not offering suggestions of what to do with those nails or some shit, like, you know. Or if you're just like, and I feel kind of bad saying this, some people are just creepy like not even you know anything in their intention or you know like they're probably not even actually creepy people but some people just like you look at them you're like dude fucking creep and like you know that's probably judgmental and rude and cruel but 
Luke, you do not come off as a creepy dude. I mean, unless you're, like, very, very different in real life, but, like... <laughs> I, I think I can fairly say that you, you do not give off creeper vibes. <laughs> Man. Wow, I love those nails. Do you wrap your tips? <laughs> That's when they look, that's when they either look at you like, the fuck you talking about wrapping your tips? Or they look at you like, how the fuck do you know about wrapping your tips? <laughs> yeah, you don't want, you don't want to show them up with your, with your nail polish knowledge. The clerk didn't believe you did. Like, you're going to lie about it. I was just a little, okay, you guys, this is so silly. I was just a little bit sad that I didn't get any compliments on my nails yesterday when I went for my second shot. Cause when I went for my first shot, I got all kind of compliments. I got complimented on my hair, my nails, and my eyebrows. And I didn't get any compliments. Yeah, well, and that's one of those things, too. It's like nails, even if you didn't do them yourself, like if you did them yourself, number one, you're also complimenting uh, skill and artistry. Whereas like a pretty thing is like, number one, it's a it's kind of like comes across judgmental. Also, in most cases, you don't have any control over your looks like uh, thanks. I was born this way you know or like complimenting someone's makeup like also feels like I don't know in some ways that feels like it can come across as like and maybe this is just me like almost a little bit insulting like I would be way quicker Beanie hairs, to compliment somebody's nails than maybe like just their makeup or if I was going to compliment makeup I would compliment something like specific like, I don't mind getting compliments on my brows. Like, it's obvious that, I mean, like, they don't, they don't grow out of my head looking like this, all right? <laughs> but, like, I don't know. It's, it's just another one of those things where it's all in the delivery and the vibe. Smile, Gord. You know, I don't know if I have such powerful resting bitch face that it like just actually drives people off. I'm happy to say I've never had anybody tell me that. And that's like some shit. Like, fuck, what the, what? Fuck you. Yeah. No, compliments are so weird. I, I am a big believer of giving compliments as long as the compliments aren't like creeper comments or like telling you you know i mean smile gorgeous is not the compliment that you think it is if if anybody doesn't know mm. that's not a bad weird guy that's my dad <laughs> mm. but like just just a simple compliment i feel like really can brighten people's day and so I mean, like, sometimes, I don't know, like, it, it's hard to talk to strangers, but, like, if you go out, you kind of have to, like, at least somewhat communicate with strangers, but, like, if I ever think somebody, think somebody is, like, you know, cute earrings or cute hair or, you know, whatever, I'm like, fucking just suck it up and, like, say, say a nice thing, Colette, you could make this person's day, and sometimes you could tell that it really did make their day. Because nice compliments are nice and creepy compliments are creepy. Mm. Yeah, if the compliment contains instructions, it's not a compliment. Like, or, or that falls under too, like, you look good, but you'd look even better if type of a shit. Like, you just, just say the compliment and leave it at that. Like there's a, there's a lady at my, at my, where I pick up my, uh, my prescriptions and she does like mermaid colored hair and stuff. And like a couple times I just be like, ah, oh, God, your hair is so cute. 
And it's like, I'm sure that that's like a job that gets really like just exhausting and tiring and, you know, is, is, is hot. Like, I don't know if I want to say high stakes, but kind of, cause like you can't just be fucking up people's prescriptions. Like there's a lot of jobs where you can fuck up and there's really not too many consequences for doing so like in a pharmacy is not one of those places like you have to have high accuracy and so that leads to also like having high stress right so a little just a little compliment can get you through your day yeah exactly (laughs) Thank you, Nutty. I was just saying earlier, somebody said, I was like, oh my goodness. That always makes me feel a little bit weird when I get a compliment on something where it's like, because this is, this is like, uh, shit, I didn't have time to wash my hair. Just put it in a poof style is what this style is. <laughs> but thank you. I'm, I'm glad that my go-to lazy shit style is cute. Because my arm is not up for a wash day. Also, I see this beanie here. Oh, I love this. I love flakies. Yeah, I still, I feel like I'm not a very good compliment receiver. I try to follow my own rule, which is just fucking say thank you. Like... Because I figure, like, you know, I think about it myself, like, it's hard for me to, like, get the confidence to give a compliment. And I'm sure not everybody feels like that way, but some people probably do. So if somebody, like, sucks up all their confidence to give you a compliment, like, you don't want to have a funky attitude. At least I don't. Excuse me. Also for that burp. All right. I think we're just about ready for some top coat here, y'all. <laughs> why don't more dresses have pockets math that's the thousand million billion dollar question more, I think more do now but it's still like it's rare enough that it's like one of those and it has pockets moments like it's cute and it has pockets (laughs) hey entropy her wedding dress had pockets (sighs) (laughs) now now how many dresses is this luke Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm like I'm starting to sit here and think about like the dresses in my closet that I rarely fucking wear anymore and trying to think about how many of them have pockets. Which sometimes can be alleviated if I have like uh a nice wrap or something that has pockets to go over top. But also, I I want like a pocket, but I also actually hate carrying things in pockets. <laughs> Zero. You should try it. It's, it might you might like it. it could be super comfy. Like a kilt. All right. I think I'm just getting a couple of the little little spots. And right here. All right. Skirts with pockets feel a little bit more common than dresses with pockets, but still... Nobody's wearing cargo pants because we're all sitting at home in leggings dapper would be my guess. (laughs) Mm. 
Bedtime Blue, thank you for hanging out. Hey, I lo- that's that's my favorite compliment. Since we're talking about compliments, when people say that I've inspired them, I'm like, hee hee, oh my goodness. I, I hope you do. And uh, I hope you rest well as well. Yeah, one of the blues. <laughs> I mean, true, Luke, true. Just a little woof. woof. <laughs> Huh. Oh, I really like this. All right. Now the other key to a wonderful, long-lasting, chip-free manicure. We talked about the base coat, top coat. Is this cute right now? Yes. Is it going to be cuter with top coat? Yes. Um, some polishes top coat is not going to make that huge of a difference with uh, visually but wear wise it definitely will number one because a quick dry top coat will make things dry so you don't fuck up your manicure before it's even done drying work okay those aren't work clothes dino they're pjs Mm. so uh sesh vite is my favorite go-to top coat it doesn't work super great for everyone which makes me sad some people get a lot of uh what's referred to as shrinkage with sesh vite which is when like it basically does not agree with your body chemistry and it kind of like and it pulls the polish away from the tip of the nail or it pulls the polish away from the cuticle um <laughs> But thankfully, I don't have that problem. There are other really good... Okay, sidetrack. I saw an article the other day. And it was like, 12 great top coats to make your mani last. And I was like, let me look at this shit. I had never heard any of the top coats they mentioned. And they didn't have Sesh Vite in the article. I looked for a place where I was like, do they have a place to leave comments? So I could... (laughs) So I could... So I could rant. But there like wasn't a place to leave comments. So I wasn't able to do that. Um, but Sesh Vite has been my go-to basically since I started blogging. And since I'm doing this as an extremely long-lasting, possibly manicure, I'm wrapping the tips and the underside. Like I said, the underside is something personal preference, but definitely wrap your tips. Um, the last couple manis that I've done with long lasting base and with the full like under the tip wrap I've worn for over two weeks with basically no chipping I'm not gonna count the chipping on my thumbs because like I just feel like that amount of uh uh what do I want to say abuse is not the polish's fault what is this stuck on my brush here But under normal wear and tear circumstances that do not involve speed running and randomizing Hollow Knight. There we go. Thumbs would probably be fine. And the wonderful thing about quick drying top coat is that when it's really good, like, of course, always pee before you go start doing your nails but a lot of times depending on how long the manicure takes you gotta pee once you're done with your nails too and if you haven't used a quick dry top coat like that's a stressful moment but like with sesh vite it dries quick enough that by the time i finish my 10th nail my first nail will already be dry which is like miraculous so you can see it just smooths it out everything's glossy and nice compared to this which is pretty but just isn't isn't as glossy and shiny <laughs> isn't there a command for a sesh beat? no what, what should the command be I put that shit on everything which hot sauce is that? Louisiana? Red hot? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like there were there were a bunch of various ones listed. A couple of them I had never even heard of the brand before, to be honest. And a couple of them I was like, oh. I guess I've heard like one was like a, a CND top coat, I think. I actually don't think I have any CND polishes. Yeah, jeans are a tough one. Or really, really tight fitting pants if you don't know how to pull them up using your finger pads rather than your fingertips, if you know what I mean. Um, like you don't want to grab anything like this, even with sesh beat, right? And put the pressure like, you know, on your nails. You want to grab things like that, but it, uh, they'll be dry enough to survive normal, uh, bumps and touches, just not dry enough to survive, uh, extreme pressure or gouges. Polo right thumb. You made it through this whole manicure with no smudges today, Polo right thumb. So like, I don't know how long that took, but you see the first pinky? It'd be dry. We're not leaving smudges or anything. It's fine. Thank you, Dapper. Yeah, I do have I do have a essentials list and the the sesh feet is included on there, but I don't have one just for sesh feet. Clip probably. Yeah. Franks. Yeah. A serious question. Okay. I'm ready. This is so cute. Mesmerizing. We need more flashlight time. Oh, I don't have a favorite hot sauce. I can't stand hot sauce. <laughs> I, I'm not. Nope. Don't like hot things. Ooh. Look, look on the sides of the nails there. Look, you see that glint of green and blue right there? On the very edges of my ring finger and my middle nail. That's the, uh, the flakies coming through. But the hollow is so strong. The hollow is so strong. Look, right? Look at the look at see it? See the green and the blue there? The the the, the, the index finger too, like right there you can kind of see a flaky. Oof, the hollow is still so strong though. I think too it speaks to the like the sheer iridescence of the flakies that when you get the direct light the direct light just basically goes right through and then the the hollow is popping out. Can I hold the flashlight for my other hand? Kind of. Doing anything right-handed is or like as far as like hand poses. No bueno. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Yeah. The secret hidden flakies. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure there are several people who have strong hot sauce opinions in chat. I mean, I, I've heard of Frank's. I believe my parents uh, really like Louisiana hot sauce. Tapatio, I don't think I've heard of. Cholula, I don't think I've heard of. Secret Aardvark, okay, that gets points just for the name. Um, I, I like the name. But like literally, things that are mild are often almost too hot for me. I am a wimp when it comes to hot things. Yeah, salsa. If it, yeah, it, it has to be mild, and even then, like, I've I've on occasion been like, that's supposed to be mild. That's if I find a salsa I'm interested in in the first place, because I'm not like a huge salsa person, because I don't like tomatoes. I'm not a super fan of onions. 
you know, it's, it's no, not, not my area of expertise. Hot wings I can do as long as I have like some sides, like some blue cheese dressing and stuff. pasta with hot sauce habanero that sounds so hot aren't habanero super hot y'all this is so pretty I love this what do I eat then cheese per our previous discussion (laughs) oh mmm I don't know. I I like a lot of stuff, but not not hot things, not peppers. What what have I eaten this week? I had I had a quesadilla last night. Day before that, I uh, lazied out and had pizza rolls. I think that was the day before that. I think the day before that was uh, like a chicken Caesar salad. That's as far back as my brain goes nachos dude I haven't had nachos no no hot cheeses <coughs> I said the only kind of cheeses I don't like are Swiss and things with peppers or hot things in them three days of meals with cheese I mean, I mean if there's not a meal with cheese I'm probably gonna like wake up in the middle of the night and need just like a wedge of cheese <laughs> I'm pretty sure at some point like on Food Network or some shit I remember seeing like a hot sauce ice cream so that may or may not be true Luke no Swiss the the Swissy taste of it is Mexican hot chocolate I don't know that I've ever had that yeah but like cheese like if I have a meal and I don't have cheese like I can eat a meal with no cheese like it's not like not eating that but like like Chinese food is a good example like there's not generally too many cheesy Chinese food dishes but then like later I'm like man I'd really like some cheese Mm. (laughs) burnt his taste buds to hot sauces oh man wait so like he just like burnt out his taste buds and so like nothing seems hot to him anymore Mika or like yeah, well, there's like a, isn't there a sauce that's like hot and chocolate? Uh, I want to say churro, but that is not it. That's not. Um, mm, oh, come on. Somebody, somebody knows what I'm talking. Mole. Thank you, Izzy. Swiss is one of your favorite basic cheese. I mean, other people are welcome to like Swiss. I don't even know what it is about it that I don't like. I just call it that Swissy taste. Like, it, it can be included in a dish with other cheeses, and I will identify it and, and mildly object to it. I remember my mom made a quiche one time and, like, had a little bit of leftover Swiss and was like, oh, I'm gonna just sneak this in here along with, you know, the cheddar or whatever else. I was like, is there Swiss in this? And she was like, how did you know? I'm like, why are you trying to sneak it in there? Like, I wouldn't know. <clears throat> Dark chocolate with jalapeno. I could, I mean, I could see that. If you were a fan of those things. Yeah, Red, I'm glad you enjoyed. I'm going to wrap it up here pretty shortly also. I did not expect this to go quite this long. I suspect that, you know, the uh, the rant at the beginning of stream took up slightly more time than I, I initially planned on. But I'm really glad that I got this on. Um... And I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to find you guys somewhere to go in a minute here. Um, But tomorrow, assuming I have at least this much energy or a little bit more, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to start the room rando, but we might start the anniversary room rando tomorrow because tomorrow is my anniversary, my strimiversary, my three year, somehow, apparently, streamiversary. Um, someone named Yellow is going to. (laughs) 
Oh, thank you, Nutty. Yeah, Mika, thank you. I don't, I don't, the fact that it's been three years already is wild to me. I feel like such a noob. Such a noob. I still feel like such a noob. But apparently I'm not? Question mark? Your one year came and went, you missed it all. Because I have a belated celebration. Um, I, I feel like I have to look it up every year, but I remember it's in about May. And then my affiliate anniversary is about a month after that. But the plan... I'm totally not a new... I don't know. The plan... If, if I have the energy for it, the plan is to do an everything room rando. Hollow Knight, of course. Um, toying with the idea of making it cursed. Multi world is fun, but I don't. Well, number one, it's hard. It's hard enough to keep up with chat, and if I'm in a cooperative uh, situation, it's even harder. But honestly I really I, I am really hoping that Callum updates the multi-world soon um the last one I did I was really really missing like the flames and stuff I've gotten very very used to um not that I would necessarily do an everything setting in a multi-world but a lot of the newer uh item pools I find to be a lot of fun I really like the Grimkin flames I really like the, the boss essence and the boss geo um, and some of the other QOL stuff too that like I'm getting used to and like going back to a version that doesn't have it is jarring <laughs> jarring like grub jars like going on a version that doesn't have grub jars is super weird or having to keep track of oh wait the minion bug is still exists on this patch or oh wait the stag bug still exists on this patch um especially now that okay dino they do live grub grub daddy is only incubating them don't worry it's not sad um like for a while it didn't feel that bad with the multi-world because i was aware that it was pretty close to matching what was on the mod installer but the mod installer got updated today so like multi-world is just feeling more and more out of date not that i would never do it if it was never updated again like i certainly i know nate wants to do another one at some point and i'd certainly be down for that but like not <laughs> thank you tahiti for the mila roulette bits <laughs> yeah well, I mean, the updates have not necessarily been coming from Homothity, but yes, Homothity did finally push the, or pull, pull, pull the pull request, push the pull requests. I don't know. Um, you know, it's been talked about like, you know, how often is a reasonable amount of time to update the mod installer and stuff, but, um, yeah, any, anyway, that was, I don't remember where I was going with all, with that whole train of thought, but yeah, I like I don't know if I want to do Cursed, because Cursed... <sighs> the last two Cursed that I did were really tough. The one was 12 hours, and the other one I tapped out at 9 hours. You're not really behind, Dapper. You're just, like, two item pools behind, and I'm sure you're working on that, question mark, hopeful, question mark. Um... Yeah, I did uh, actually cursed. Um, and, and the logic chains were just, just, they were just really some shit. <sighs> yeah, that, that's kind of how I feel, Math. Like, I'm already, it's already going to take an exponentially larger amount of time because I'm going to be mapping. I'm going to be learning a new mapper because my intention is to use Blue's Mapper. And I know it's not like drastically different from Gallus's, but like it's it's a little bit different. It's, it's another thing to learn. And just the actual mapping of it, even if I figure it out, you know, super quick and know what I'm doing, it's going to take additional time. So putting Cursed on top of it. Also, like when you do Cursed, you don't get Geo Rocks. 
And I love the Geo Rocks. Like having the finding the 420 rock in the game. That's that's a simple little pleasure. Yeah, no, Dapper, no pressure. I will say that your Mando map mod, even in its current state, is an extremely valuable tool for new players, and most new players aren't fucking around with lore tablets anyway. Although some new players do fuck around with boss geo. <coughs> and the boss geo has thrown me off more often than the lore tablets when I've like peeked on the map and it's not there. <clears throat> um but like I I have no idea how much work would have to go into like adding all the lore lore tablets. Almost called them lore totems again. I've mostly gotten myself out of that habit, but sometimes it like creeps back in there. Um like I have no idea how much work that would be. So I can't just be like, well why can't you just do it, Dapper Gosh? Like, that would be so convenient for me. I don't care how much work it is for you. Like, oh my gosh. Um. But yeah, and I've, like, I know you've been building, like, chicken coops and you have, like, a family and shit. So, like, you know, do what you gotta do. Yeah, Izzy, I would like to get it started early because I figure it could go a long time. But like I said, it's also going to depend how I sleep tonight, how I feel tomorrow, what my energy level is like, if I'm waking up like ready and raring to go or if I'm waking up like, you know, type of a vibe. Take it one piece at a time. Um, I will say, like if you only had to do one thing, I would say just get the new pools in and maybe put it on the mod installer. Um, considering the version of, of Rando that's pushed to the mod installer now. Rose is a color, you'll take it. Yeah, I hope you rest well, Izzy. Did I already say that? Probably, maybe, maybe not. Um, like the other stuff, the extra stuff, like would be nice, but like is minor. Um, like before it was kind of like, well, if you're on the experimental branch Rando, you know, you, you can't really be mad if Matt Mod isn't caught up to it, but now the experimental branch of Rando is basically um, the, the mod installer version. Now, although Flip seemed to imply that there would be another non, another, another version off of the mod installer version coming soon, but I don't know. That might have even happened while I've been sitting here streaming. Um, but like, don't, from, from one procrastinator to another dapper, if you got five things on your list and you're like, man, I can't do all five of those things, but you can maybe do one thing and that's okay. That is okay. Don't feel bad about doing one thing instead of five things or instead of 12 things. Feel good about doing one thing. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> even if the thing that's cut is my beautiful colored question marks. No. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't even done Afraid of Change lately because um, I've been trying really hard to do randos without using the map mod. Um, and when I've been pulling it up, it's mainly to show people that have shown interest and I can be like, hey, yeah, look, there's these super helpful little icons and stuff too. I understand the words, also relatable, also relatable. I can say this because I actually was able to make some small progress yesterday in cleaning and getting rid of shit. You ever just have something and you're like, man, I haven't used this in a really long time. And you're like, I should get rid of this. And as soon as you think about getting rid of it, it's just like, and you're like, I'll get rid of it later. And then you keep it for another, you know, year or something and still fucking don't use it. And then you're like, you know, I should really get rid of that. And then it's like, I don't know why my brain is like that um let's see where we're gonna go I'm looking um, there's a lot of people on I guess it's not that late oh it's midnight it's mid okay how 
How? How? Oh. Maybe I'll sling you guys. Hmm. <clears throat> Why, yes, I do know that feeling. Mining, you got to do your census. Yes, get your get your census done. That's important. Um, you know, I think that's one of the reasons I love streaming. Like, I could say the weirdest possible shit that pops in my brain, and somebody in chat will always be like, relatable. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, I hope you have time to pop in, Dapper. I I hope that you do. Yeah, Matt, thank you, and thank you again for the raid. Um, would you guys like some Hollow Knight? Or would you guys maybe like to have some Monkey Ball? Mm. What do you guys think? <laughs> you know... <laughs> It has been a little bit of a dick's heavy evening. <laughs> Can you ever have too many dicks? Probably. <laughs> Down for some monkey ball, Tiger Mama? All right. Um, hello? Can I... Window? Can I... Can you, can you let me click on things, Window? Why is why is this not? My computer still is acting a little bit janky after the after the jank of the previous uh, evening, whenever that was. I might I might have to pop in and see Kali too, because it looks like Kali might be about to bop me in 106. Oh, we might be having a BRB raid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Luke. <laughs> if you would like to stay up to date on my schedule or post your own pictures of nail arts or share your cute animals, please feel free to join my Discord. It's open to everybody. I will try to put an update in announcements tomorrow as soon as I know what the fuck I'm doing. Um... And for now, I'm going to rage all over the battery. Um, that is not that is not the emote that I want. And you can drop your beanies. You can drop whatever your favorite emote is. Oh, also, you know, I should I should start hyping this up cuz I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen soon TM. Um, Make sure to join the Discord so you know when the fanfic reading is. The uh, the lovely MIT battery set me a sub goal, and you lovely people met that sub goal, and so I will be reading MIT batteries fanfic. I don't know what genre. Yeah, I don't know what genre of fanfic Battery is going to write for me, but he is going to write it and I am going to read it here, live on stream. All I know is that it will hopefully stay within the terms of service. Um, I know Mathula's ready. It's like 90% your fault. Maybe not. It's like at least 50% your fault, Math. <laughs> um, but yeah, if that sounds great to you, Stay tuned here on twitch.tv slash Um, But thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope I'll see you all next time. <laughs> and of course... If you are in the future on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash ColettaMSLP. And if you're curious about that fanfic, that'll probably be archived on my other YouTube channel. There'll be, you know, links and stuff down in the description box if you're just like, wait a minute, what? I, I have multiple YouTube channels and this one mainly stays, stays nail stuff. 
other than you know the stuff that we rant about during manicures but uh yeah there's lots of other things happening on twitch and lots of other things happening in other places on youtube but uh anyway all that said i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching